wipe or oh, shit. Oh, we've got a high. Hello, Mark. Let us know if you can hear us. Hopefully, we are going to be going out very shortly to Facebook and to YouTube. I think we are online on Facebook, as far as I can tell. Hopefully, YouTube will be coming through now, too. Please let us know if you can hear us. Give us a word, guys. That's you guys. Is it the word bird? Yeah. Is that always what the it bird is. is about bird is the word. I think we're on YouTube. I think we're on YouTube. Nice. Uh -huh. Cool. There's Declan. We are Declan's first ever Kickstarter. Oh, Declan's wow. also from Northern Ireland, like me. Uh, Declan and I had a good chat on Facebook, actually. I mean, did, did he know you? or? Uh, I don't believe so, although oh, Northern thank, Ireland is thank a, God for him. It's a so. small place. I'm going to try and squeeze in as much as I can. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Sorry about that. Hello, everybody. Uh, how are you doing? Um, I'm in a very weird, I feel really out of my comfort zone it's being so over weird. here. This is, um, this is not quite right. I kind of want to be there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, is it just bothering you constantly? Yeah, I feel kind of out of the Tushy. loop and I'm Tushy. looking at the cameras and stuff because I'm just, this. it's like a whole new world yeah. over here. Um, so what's the I'm word, Josh? not sure Josh? if we're live on YouTube, on Facebook. Not sure if we're live on Facebook. Oh, can anyone on Facebook give us a thumbs up? Let's see if we give the page a wee refresh. Let's see if it's all kicked off all right. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yes, we Looks are. Okay. Cool. okay. So yeah, hello everybody. Very, very welcome. Is anyone chatting away to us? You can let us know, Josh, what's happening. Yeah, uh, lots of hellos and confirmations that they can see and hear us, which is all fantastic. Hi. Wicked, wicked. So yeah, things have removed about a little bit tonight because we're planning on doing something a little bit different. Josh is taking over the helm. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be reading and looking at all your comments tonight. So this is your chance to say everything really nice about me you've always wanted to say, oh, right? This is a, tell, uh, Josh, tell us he's the best. And no, it's not going to be that, is it at all? It's going to be something very unlikely. Depends how much you pay in the visas, uh, the watches, right? Yeah. I can choose which ones to read out. Thanks, yeah. Josh, man. <laughs> you shield me from the, the hatred that's probably all piling up in the chats there. Um, so yeah, we're doing something a bit different tonight. I'm going to try and not, not lie back. Um, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game. We're yeah, we're, this, I know, we're kind of both getting a bit excited because Stu and I, we've played a few games now. We've played a uh, few. Yeah. Seven. Give or take. Seven, six, six, seven. This yeah. will be seven. This will be the seventh game we've played. Uh, and there's a bit of pressure on this for me personally. I don't know if there's pressure for you, but no. uh, I'm currently undefeated. Yeah. Which makes me very scared because I, I truly believe that Josh has been, th not Josh, Stu's been throwing every single game we've played so far. <laughs> and now it's crunch time. He's been baiting me. He's been building up his odds. You know, he's been looking like, he's made me look like the favourite horse and everyone's going to bet and then it's just lose time. So to kind of balance that off a bit, we're going to have a bit of fun and we're going to play with every single champion on the Kickstarter page. On the board at once. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Royal Rumble. Every minute a new champion is going to come in. Just swap them into your decks. It'll be fine. So switch, give us camera two, George. Let's have a, a look. Uh -huh. So as you guys can see, we literally have every single champion. Hold on a minute. No, wait a minute. That's what I'd say. Oh, Returning oh, from injury. Oh, oh. We have freshly scooped, uh, freshly printed, freshly raised from the swamp. As anyone who's followed the, the Facebook group, we have sure. Wrath making his return. So we have all fifteen champions. Uh, so that's the core champions, the Art of War champions, the Force of Nature champions, and the Circle of Blood champions. And um, Stu and I kind of agreed. I don't know if agreed is the right word uh, to let you guys at home uh, <laughs> choose um, what you know, whatever champions we're going to play. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to run through them. Give us camera three, we'll have a look at this. So can we just quickly point out yeah. to Leonidas? Of course you can. Is he in the chat? Yeah, yeah. We, we were saying on. that... Um, there you go. Which one? There you go. We, was, we <laughs> were saying that uh, as is undefeated against Stu, not as is undefeated full stop Leo. So. Oh, did Leo get, <laughs> did Leo get very... Uh, yeah, Leo and I played at Beast of War, and, and he threatened my job contract, so I had to uh -huh. let him win a game, which on camera is very tough. Having to, to let do. your boss win, that's so weird, See, right? This is, this is, so if, if anyone catches <laughs> Stu's tails tonight, if he's throwing the game, you're going to know for real. You've got to tell me what's happening. Uh, so Leo's in the chat. This is yeah, good. Leo's in the chat. Uh -oh. yeah. What's Leo's platform of choice? Facebook or YouTube? What's his channel? Yeah, it Must looks be like he's on YouTube, actually. He's yeah. not. He's wow. on YouTube, he's well, on YouTube yeah. Wow, well, thanks, Leo. He said lol. Lol. <laughs> That's exactly how Leo says it. It's, in French, it's lol. 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 <laughs> lol. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go through all the champions. Um, I have literally all 15 in my hand here. And um, to give everyone a quick preview, if you don't remember, and then we're going to let you guys pick our team. So, I hope you're going to have fingers at the ready. We're going to have a straw poll. Um, yeah, that, that, that bit. Shall we get That's them? That's it. Let's go right. on with it. Get them so in here. So, first up. Straight on to the new guy. Tell us about him. 
Taze. Yeah. So Taze is the thundering thriller, and he is a gladiator from the Toriak race, a uh, race of centaur-like creatures. Uh, he is their undefeated tournament champion. Uh, he lives for the fight. He's as close to a, um, a sports entertainer style arena gladiator war machine as you mm -hmm. can get. He loves being in the fight. Um, his wish is to stay in the future, in the, the time of the wizards, and battle in the arena forever. What an amazing wish. If you guys, I'll just do this sneakily, if you guys didn't know, I'd say just nabbed in control for a second. We're going to do a lower chat after some games here. So mm -hmm. uh, if you are interested in the lower, at the end of our games today, what me and Stu are going to sit down, we're going to let Josh go and let him have a relaxing evening after we abuse him here. And we're going to chat story and characters. So this is going to be your chance to get your teeth in and ask Stu a bunch of questions. Um, okay, let's get back to it. So we know this, man. That's Duggaran, Warden of the North. Everyone knows Duggaran at this point. Doesn't he? Right? He's, 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 the, he's the old faithful. He's the old faithful, and literally old faithful was the guardian of Dundurin for over a thousand years. Uh, his wish, for anyone who's not paying attention before, is that his mountain home will endure forever. Uh, it seems very altruistic until you realise that his life is tied into this mountain home of Dundurin. Nice. Uh, so should Dundurin endure forever, uh, Dogrim will also endure forever. Wicked. So. Right. Suzai? So Suzai is our Tigerian swordsman. Uh, he wields the Emperor's Twin Blades, the J-Claws, which are the, the names underneath him. Uh, so he is, uh, well, was a farmer, wasn't a soldier or a fighter or anything until his, uh, the Lokai, another race, came and declared war on the Targaryen people. Uh, so he took up to fight for the honour of his people and it became the best swordsman that the Targaryens ever had. And we don't have any Lokai yet, yet. in the game. None Good yet. to know. Okay. Well, you've not played them anyway. Kilgore, the Ravager. Oh, this, this is Kilgore, you have seven hit points. <laughs> yeah, for anyone, that was watching, <laughs> for anyone that was watching our stream two nights ago, Stu and Josh had the most amazing game. You can re-watch it on YouTube. Oh, There's brilliant. a whole two-hour, 40-minute live stream there where the guys played two games that were both incredible. And we'll just say it came down to one hit point at one point, but <laughs> it wasn't the way you expect because you'll now notice that different from the Kickstarter page, we have some slightly outdated <laughs> cards here. We're still working with prototypes. We're still working with cards that we're updating as we balance the game. And Kilgore has received a tiny nerf. Um, now, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had received a nerf before, but just not publicly. And per Josh felt the pain. Yeah, of the that. version control in my mind was a bit poor <laughs> on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Kilgore. Tell us about you. So, Kilgore is uh, called the Ravager. So, Kilgore is not the stereotypical big dumb troll, smash, smash, punchy, punchy man. Kilgore is incredibly intelligent and raised his uh, tribe up to a force, up to an army, up to a conquering nation and at one point actually took control of the entire world. Uh, his armies were unstoppable. Uh, however, his thirst for battle was so great that with no one to fight, he tore his own nation apart. Love it. And he does get 8-1 when he levels up. When he levels up, yeah. Yeah, so he's not being nerfed too badly. Mm -hmm. wonder if anyone will force us to play nerfed Kilgore tonight. I mean, I'm quite happy to take Nerf Kilgore, that's not a problem. <laughs> Goldar, Scourge of the Several Seas is up next. Everyone should know him by now. Yeah, no one knows how many seas, just the several. <laughs> uh, he is the most famous pirate of any age at this point. Um, is he the most famous ogre pirate? Are there many ogre pirates? There's not a lot of many ogre pirates. There's not a vast amount of them. Um, they tend to eat each other is the main thing. Is most of his crew ogre-esque, or does he employ a vast race A vast crew? majority, yeah. It's... Yeah, he's, he's just... it's uh, Press gang rules, right? It's a pirate. So, all, all These are races. kind of questions you guys get, better yeah. get ready to ask later. I'm going to just warm you up for later on when we get into the yeah, lore. Sure. So, um, all, all races end up enslaved to the grave robber. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a good line. I like that. It's prepared. That's that a one. future flavor text card, that. Uh, and leveled up side. <laughs> he becomes immune to push. Uh, keeps the same hit point. He does. Yes, yeah. he does indeed. Yeah, he should be nervous and just suggest. I mean, he was an eight. Just, 8-1 went up to a 9-1. Yeah. yeah. So, he, so he has actually he taken like, a little nerf? Uh, to be fair, it's his second version. Uh, well, third. At one point, he went up to a 9-1 if he means to push and pull. Yeah. Too strong. We, we really want to represent him sticking that anchor in the ground and planting his feet. <laughs> For sure. Sorry, Goldar. I think he's still good. Oh, it's incredible. I kept. Powerhouse. So I kept the Light of Creation, uh, also known as the Sky Lord. Uh, he is the uh, king of the Chimeran race. Uh, his people had the largest empire in his day and age until it was brought down and destroyed by an unseen foe. He never found out who, who did that or whose machinations uh, led to the fall of his people. Uh, but yeah, his wishes, I wonder. Oh. Uh, it's 
Sounds like you're just planting the seeds for big things to come. Stu, imagine, yeah, imagine. So he, he wants, his wish is just to see the restoration of his people. Like the phoenix that he is himself, he wants to see them rise from the ashes and become a power again. Love it. Darren. So Darren the Game Huntress. developer. Darren, the game developer's favourite of, of, of the Eastwood. Yeah. <laughs> favourite of the Eastwood. Yeah, yeah right. So, uh, yeah, so Darren is our, our human huntress. Uh, human huntress. Sh- human. <laughs> human. 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 <laughs> huntress. Uh, for sure, yeah. And she, she's our, uh, like a Meredith Robin Hood-esque character. So the where she's from, uh, a an evil king and a tyrant took over the land. Yeah. Um, and she served the tyrant actually faithfully as his hunter for a long time until she saw the suffering of the people firsthand and she couldn't abide by it anymore. So led a rebellion against him. Um, and that's as far as the history for her currently goes. Kolel. So Kolel is our uh, gnome riding a chameleactor. So she's a scout for her people. Um, and she's famous for their war with the Moon Torched, of which Marius is a, a member of that race. So uh, she's very famous because her intel and her uh, abilities leading the, the war efforts shaved years and years off the war. Uh, and she actually famously led an assassination attempt uh, that was successful against the, the general Wolf Lord Angren. Uh, and that was the pivotal moment of the war that. Mm-hmm. Um, really gave them a fighting chance it still led to destruction the majority of her forest oh. and the majority of her home so so marius is yeah. a member of the moon touched uh, and he was born without any lycanthropy uh, mm-hmm. abilities he just they didn't manifest him at all like his brothers that were considered blessed because they have these abilities um, and it was only when they were at war uh, with their father wolf lord angren <laughs> Short, <laughs> short, Stu, we're going to do lore after the game. <laughs> uh, that he manifested his powers. Nice. <laughs> what, a, what a nicely rounded that out sentence Gwen. there that was. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So Gwen <laughs> is our elven sorceress. Uh, she was born with a silver spoon in her mouth. She, uh, some people have to fight to attain power. She is not one of them. She was born under a very uh, fortuitous sign, gained a lot of power throughout her life, and is one of the most powerful sorceresses to ever live. Uh, her wish is very simply to learn true magic. Um, and as I've said before, I think the ramifications, if she ever wins the Super Bowl against that, uh, learning true magic centuries before it became a thing is just... Fun. It's yeah, fun. yeah, I'm not sure I should have seeded that in the world, to be honest. <laughs> I think I've done myself a disservice there. So The council corrections will clear. They'll fix it. That's what they're there for, right? <laughs> yeah, because season two will be Gwen versus, versus. council <laughs> corrections. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Gwen is one of the wizards at this point. Yeah, <gasps> so Lorelei is our dryad. Uh, she um, had a grove in Fabulosa that was uh, destroyed and the uh, friend who died in that uh, terrible incident with the destruction of her grove she was free to kind of roam uh, and now she uh, travels space space helping people uh, a, a genuine good guy um, or good gal rather yep. in the, the arena nice yeah. and as an ability we really haven't seen yet which is during your upkeep fees you get to draw two additional cards crazy strong absolutely very strong um, we then have Korvash so Korvash is our brutal orc warlord uh, it was never really anything we would never have attained any kind of fame until he found Scornblade uh, Scornblade is a blade that contains a demon within it called Scorn uh, he gave himself willingly to this demon and now serves as a vessel hence his title is just wielder of Scornblade he, the champion we always refer to the champion's actually the sword he is just the vessel that moves it yeah love it then we've got Back from injury. Back from injury, Wrath. So Wrath is the best assassin of his age, and his age is actually the same as Kilgore's. He is Kilgore's right-hand man, Kilgore's trusted assassin, um, and never failed his, his leader. So oh, he's have got uh, at least two or three people in the chat who want to see Wrath tonight as well. Oh, for excited sure. excitement for We have that. tinkered with his cards since he was uh, played with at least. Oh, we're playing with his latest cards now? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, awesome. Bagsy, Bagsy, Bagsy Wrath. <laughs> that's up to the, uh, that's that's up up to the, the chat, for sure. Uh, then we have, for the first time on the nurse, Tom Cameron Nevermore. So uh, he was a druid and he was killed, um, but his desire for life endured. So he is the first undead of Fabulosa. And what's really interesting is obviously when we get the champions, the wizard get them, this is at their peak. And his peak attained after he died. That's mm-hmm. where he attained fame. 
Um, he got his vengeance, but then wouldn't let himself be consumed by that vengeance and now guides other people to their final resting Love place. So he still it. keeps those druidic tendencies. Love it. And that, of course, is every champion. I have not missed any, and there's no other champion in the entire game <laughs> that the, the chat would ever notice. In fact, what, what champion, don't tell them, is missing? Because I want to ask the chat, see who see if they're awake. Get the, before mm -hmm. we're going to do the vote on who's the teams are, who's the, who's the missing champion, guys? Who's the champion I haven't showed you? If you've been watching the streams during the campaign, there's a champion that pretty much everyone in the campaign has kind of... Uh, been leaning towards there seems to be a, a lot of love there is a favorite towards yeah do they know it. do they know who's missing uh, we're all quiet at the that's moment that's all right then then there must be no there must be no champions there must be no champions missing then that seems fine yeah. i'm going to put these guys back so i can get my decks ready for it's whenever interesting as you try to assign them yeah right here we yeah. go right this is about to get this is about to get difficult for me actually here we go well there we go right here we go this is like Oh man, what what a range of choices! Never mind just putting them back. I like. I wish I was picking because well, this is setting the table up earlier, and I looked at all the the vast decks like this. I was like, wow, it's again to not shill to anyone or anything. Yeah. The content, the the range. It's okay. You're is, you're you're allowed. To. I, I yeah, but I still feel I'm like, it's just incredible. Like this is such a, straight off the bat, such a huge variety of champions. We all right? Are we still live? I'm pretty. I'm, it looks like it on Facebook, but we're not getting any comments really, which seems really Is everybody good. very quiet this evening? But the poll hasn't been, I haven't got the ticks next to the poll yet. I've got some polling. Have you? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Now, I'm gonna have a quick losing. We might still be live, but the laptop may be just playing silly me messages on Stu's, oh, Josh, sorry, so let me have a quick losing, see if I can, oh, have a chat. Let's see. It looks like our internet here could be having a problem. Do you want to come on my what phone and see what? Yeah, grab your phone there and just see. Sorry, folks. If, Sorry, you guys, yeah. if you're all chatting away and we're not responding to you, I do apologize. Thing, yeah. I think the Wi-Fi might just have um, been messing around with Josh, meaning that we're not getting any chatter for a couple of minutes there, actually. Mm -hmm. um, if computers work the way they were meant to, life would be too. We're still live there. You still got us? Yeah, I've still got us. Um, Actually, you two, the last comment I've got is what Graham Cooper still alive? Oh well, we didn't have. No, we, we definitely. Uh, so bear with us, guys. Let me see if I can. A lot of people wanting Lorelei. That uh, sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds Nevermore cool. called to on the table. Uh, you keep reading comments there until I work out how I can try and get this puppy. What down. if instead we see twelve champions at once by forcing us to play two games at the same time? Genius. Oh, like a that chess sounds grand. amazing. Yeah. yeah, let's get two two tables in. I don't think we can fit two of these boards. On. Not on this one. Uh, Mark Berrycloth here on Facebook. Thanks, folks. Uh, so, Josh, I think it has now connected us back. Cool. Because it looks like we got. Yeah, it looks like we got thirty on YouTube, eighteen on Facebook. Doesn't sound quite right. Literally did nothing, buddy. Literally did nothing. It just I'm decided just it was here. working again. On on my phone. There we go. Yeah, we look like we look like we're rocking again. Cool. All right, you want to try sharing? Well, who, yeah, whose team are we picking first? Whose link did you share first? I shared Stu's. I'm not sure if people got it or not. So give it another whirl. So we're gonna let everyone at home, all being well, um, choose Stu's team first. There'll be 15 champions. You will be able to choose multiple, but the one that gets the uh, three that get the most votes will form Stu's team. For sure. And then we yeah, will. Yeah, I think that's went through. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yep. Put that back in just in the off chance. Cool. So I'm allowing all the champions, including the Force of Nature guys, who haven't seen the table yet, so no one knows what they yep. do. So that's super interesting. And you're not allowed to have the champion that was never shown because the chat couldn't guess who it the was. The chat couldn't not guess who was missing. Not because it was their fault, just because the internet decided it was going to play. So <laughs> yeah, so, sure. so the, the internet uh, decided stole their favourite. But they're allowed to pick that champion for me, right? I mean, hopefully not. <laughs> I have not played a single game with Lorelei or Tears, whether against them or as them. Mm -hmm. So knowing the chat's been keen to see Force of Nature and what that expansion's oh, like. Oh, I've got to assume between the six champs we get, all three of the Force of Nature on the table, right? Yeah, I'm expecting the people chat want to, to, see what they do. to do some Force of Nature, so I'm expecting some Nevermore, some so Tears, some Lorelei, I'm definitely expecting some Wrath. Do, do you want to yeah. guess the six that ends up on the table? Oh, that's fun. That would be a good show. So T together or competitively? Because I think I'll tell you what, take, take your take, the champion oh, right. cards and, and see how. No, I don't want to. I, I don't want to reveal to the well, chat. No, we'll, we'll put them to the side, then right. we'll see the votes and we'll see who got. Who are guessing what we think the chat's going to pick? What the chat's going to pick? This is just for us, man. This yeah, is just yeah. our. 
So Fernando wants to know if we're going to have more heroes or a new map for the Kickstarter. I don't think it's looking likely. Yes. Yeah, so the key thing, I, I don't mind sharing that with you, Fernando, is that the Kickstarter is really your way to kind of get the basis and the initial fan okay. base and the fun and the energy behind sort of Fancy Brawl. When we release it and deliver it to backers at the end of Q, uh, sorry, start of Q2 next year, um, we hope to like, then run with the game and start expanding upon it. This is to kind of give you that nice, awesome entry level so you get a nice big bundle of everything. Um, we have a lot of ideas where we can take this game yeah, to like a sure. real ton. Um, but we want to ensure that the core game of Super Fancy Brawl, like the, the arena, the champion, the initial champions, the initial core rules, and Fabulosa and the world of everything gets embedded first, and then we'll kind of start to build on it. Because right now we're just kind of planting those seeds for the, the long life of this game, which we will have for many years to come, we hope, all being and well. And it is this far back, so we have some really interesting uh, comments I've seen on the Discord and on the videos I was watching as well, people saying, oh, you know, you've got to get a champion, and surely they can't play test it in a month or two, and like, definitely we can't, we're like 18 months ahead, yes. that's the whole point. We were just discussing with our lead designer, uh, artist yeah. designer today, uh, the first retail champion, yeah. and what's going to go happen there. So we are very ahead of where yeah. we need to be, so. And, and if you're a backer and if you follow along the Kickstarter campaign, I'm sure you're going to get little bits of insight about what will be coming in the future with the game because we do do regular updates. Mm -hmm. Have we got a good m number of votes in the poll? Or do you think we've got... Let's take a I'm little... hoping that Stu gets a really broken team that I can... Do you mean bad? Or, I'm hoping yeah, to get a broken team, but I mean something okay. else. Okay, it's, it's not the team we were expecting. It, okay. it should be interesting. So Stu will be playing Nevermore the Shared. Okay. Just, I want to say right now, I had Nevermore down for one of mine. I also have Nevermore down. Oh, one okay. to one. <laughs> Lorelei Fable of the Fae. Lorelei Fable of the Fae. Lorelei Fable of the Fae. <laughs> and I don't think either of you will have guessed this. Aket, the light of creation. I did not Aket guess. Aket is currently winning the battle on the Super Fantasy Brawl Facebook group that Simon Swan set up. It's a, a group for community members and families, and I believe Aket's currently winning the vote for the favourite champion, where they're doing a competition to see who win, who can win a copy of the game, which sure. is really nice yeah, of really them cool. to do that. Yeah, yeah. So I did not pick Aket. I did not pick Aket But you either. get Aket. Nevermore, tanky. Aket, kind of supporty. Lorelei, kind of supporty. It's an interesting. kind of supporty as well. Interestingly, I've got... A d two defense on Lorelei, a defense on Nevermore, and a defense on Akat. You Akat. have four defense across the three champions. I have a lot. This is a... I think I can work with this. Wow. What I really like is Aket and Nevermore might both synergize with Lorelei. So usually she's a support character, but with these two, I'm interested. For I'm nervous because I've, I've seen Nevermore a little, but not really do his full thing. And I've not seen Lorelei at all. Okay. So I'm very nervous about her. I do not want... Do not want... Really, really do not want Wrath <laughs> against an entire defense team. <laughs> I would, yeah, give. Please don't give me Wrath. To, to not influence it, keep Gwen off his side of the table. Why? That'd be really handy if Gwen could not turn up. Why? Well, oh, because Gwen would just melt Laura. Because Gwen's secondary effects can get past that defense, yeah. Okay, so Gwen's the link. Away. Yeah, but Into the streams went a lot wrong, yeah. I'm reloading it now. What I may do is use my phone as a hotspot and see if we can do it that way. What do you think? Let's, uh, let's subvert the system somewhat. Apologies for this, folks. We want to we wanna, we wanna play, but we also want to see what you guys are for saying. For sure, yeah, yeah. We don't want to... Um, we don't want to miss your interactions. We don't want to miss what you guys are talking about and everything that you're saying. So now it's on the table. I would have... Uh, I kept, of course, to kept. E everyone did know that Sulka was missing, I should say. No! <laughs> Let me have a look again, Josh. I'm going to try and get it set up for you again, but I'm so sorry. Oh, this is sorry. The, the night that I give it to Josh, I, I break everything on him. I, I broke computers the second I switched them anyway. You could have told me um, that before we started live streaming. <laughs> that is actually a thing in the office. Josh, destroyer of technology. Yeah, it's not. Guys. We had a really awesome idea from um, Steve Mayne. He says yeah. he wants to make a, a grave robber theme board. Like same the arena, pirate ship? But with masks. masks. Oh, I've had, that had the exact same oh, thought. Okay. I've already had it. That's in tower, incredible. Yeah, massive satisfaction. I'm going to quickly stick a vote in for my own champions while I'm here, will I? <laughs> 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 Just while I'm there. Okay. Team of three Gwens. Interesting. Right. We're back. So we're not using... We're not using my phone as your Wi-Fi, so please don't run any of the streams. Just the chat, and hopefully that'll, that'll work fine. Streaming. I'm going to try and make sure piece. that my settings don't... Uh, let, let's increase the data. So, yeah, we've got this straw poll for Az's team up now. And I put, I put no limit on my data, so you just go ahead and just ransack that. 
chat away. No gifts in chat, please. Because <laughs> Facebook. Full, full 15 hours Lord of the Rings trilogy being streamed. <laughs> Just your phone's melting away in the corner. <laughs> right. 4K resolution. So there's going to be 15 champions again on, on the vote, but please know Akhet, mm -hmm. Nevermore, and Lorelei have all been. You've already picked them for Stu, so please don't vote for them because I. Well, no, I mean. No, I could. I could. Uh, technically, by the rules, I could have them, but you could have we've them. only got the 15 minis right I'm in front of us. So take my champs. Technically, you can play champions versus champions. And I'm going to clean my board as well. Cause I can, take <laughs> can Stu stop? Please, please stop taking credit for backer ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say, any time someone comes up for it, it was definitely me. Yeah. What was the model Az wanted? I think he said he wanted Wrath. Wrath. Please do Wrath. Az wanted Wrath. I know, because it, it's killer, right? Because 10 minutes ago, I was like, I'd love to play Wrath with his new cards. And now I'm like, now I've seen, and this is this is showing you the competitive and meta. Whenever, absolutely. Whenever yeah. you sit down with five champions, your opponent has five champions, and you do the banning and then picking of your teams, that's going to be super interesting because you're really going to look at what they've mm -hmm. got, and that's really going to influence your bans. So you're going to influence your uh -huh. pick. Right now, if I was sitting opposite this, I'd be like, forget Wrath, take him, he's gone. Has I don't to want to stay home. <laughs> I imagine <laughs> Suza or Corlel would be up there for you now. Su They've both got armor mitigation. Yeah, so, for, so mitigation. Let's, yeah, let's not lie. Suza is up there. I think um, Gwen, yeah, as you alluded to, is up there. I think I'd also like a, I'd li I like a Dugrin, though. I'd like someone who can get in the way because I'm worried about a lot of swooping, fearing pushing, charming and stuff. I'm worried about a lot of the uh, movement that his team can do to me also, which mm -hmm. I'm not. So I kind of want a little bit of a hoardy groundy. Uh, it's really um, interesting. I've actually not paid this as a three person team, despite all the players. Well, out of the 400 odd different combinations you could have, I'm not surprised you haven't played this combination yeah. yet. <laughs> How the uh, and they're asking if we, there's any information on the free statues. I think it's safest to say, watch this space. There is information on the three statues. At the end of the stream, you'll get a little something, a little something, something. Because I've already prepared so a little something, something at the end of the stream because um, weekend's coming, everyone's going to have a few days off, relax, kick back, check out what's happening in Kickstarter, have a little look at what our updates have been the past few days, try the Tabletopia or the or printer the print friendly, the print and printer friendly print and play that we've just popped up today. If you haven't seen that update, you can now play the game at home. Maybe that's why we have less Facebook viewers, maybe everyone's playing everyone's the Tabletopia. Everyone's just there, <laughs> Why would we watch those two? Like, <laughs> well, Josh isn't playing tonight, so we'll just... Go and play in, in the Discord? I'm not playing, but I've got a team for you. Oh, oh interesting. So, well, overwhelmingly winning the vote, we have Wrath, the Stalker <laughs> Beneath. You'll also be playing Taze, the Thundering Fool. I haven't played I, with Taze! I, I had Wrath and well, I had Taze. I had Wrath and I had Taze. Yeah. <laughs> and people would like more Mario action as well. So. Do you know what? I almost picked him, but I went for Kolal. I thought I had Kilgore and Sulker. I had Sulker and Kolal. Thanks oh. for the vote, guys. Thank, thank you very much, guys. No, not thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, who much. about Tears, Wrath, and, and Marius? Oh, boy. I have zero defense. A lot, a lot of defensive <laughs> abilities over the side of the table. <laughs> okay. One day. Do you know what? I, I thought, again, if I days. thought about a cat, I would have put him on there. But I didn't make sense to me. But Marius did. Marius, Tears. Where's there's Wrath? There's Wrath. So, just as a quick reminder, we are playing, of course, with. Um, with prototype materials so the cards you'll see the, and everything you've seen aboard of course is, is prototypey but the beautiful paint jobs that we have on them are done by Jason Freud of the guy uh, of Painting Knights absolutely wonderful wonderful team so we're very happy to have so it's, uh, disappointing that you didn't get or either of us get Duggan actually because I have uh, I would have loved Duggan well, you, oh, <gasps> you have Duggan's full art cards over there Stu. and over there Got a but couple of interesting questions. Fire away, let's hear um, it. How, do we have any intention to do an internet versus mythic game staff similar to the internet versus... Uh, how staff? incredible that question came up. That is mental, that isn't it? Is, is that someone we know? Is that one of... Is that um, one of ours? Is that one of ours? YouTube username of Castellan Ash. No, Castellan, what a great question. I That's actually came question. in today and mm -hmm. spoke to Stu and Josh about this very thing. And I'm hoping that potentially on Sunday that we might do an internet versus me with Stu and Josh potentially uh, in the chat um, helping you guys out and kind of giving options and uh, picking, helping pick the choices. Um, so that's definitely something we are looking at because we think the game would suit it really well. Um, so yeah, pop some champions over that's there. That's crazy. I, would you pop some champions over while I read my cards for tears? No, so I, can I, learn, I would, so I would I can prefer learn. you to not. I, oh, it, it, it's our ambassador, Ash. Oh, Ash. Of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, okay, okay. And people also want to know if we're going to be at Tabletop Scotland. Oh, um, that's a very good question. I do not believe, unfortunately, we are going to be at Tabletop Scotland, yeah. but don't wait for future updates on that. We will be at Tabletop Gaming Live at Victoria Palace in 
uh, London uh, in September. Uh, Tabletop Scotland, unfortunately, I can't confirm just yet, but wait for future news on Facebook. We'll share it if, if and when we have it. That seems good. That, that, that's, that seems good. I yeah yeah that's you know, I really like all the force of nature. I will absolutely confess I'm gutted I don't have Tate on my side. However, that seems good. <laughs> at, at the same time, Nevermore and Lorelei are an incredible combination. Oh, yeah. Ed's favourite yeah. little combo. You can't play Ed without him taking both of them. <laughs> it's literally impossible. So um, you ban one and make him cry. <laughs> so my, so Wrath That's a hard hint team. Wrath, Tears and Marius versus Aket, Nevermore, Lorelei. Lorelei. Would you like to flick the tokens to you? I'm blue. Surely red. Josh is the moderator oh, of this game. Oh, yeah, sorry, this is Josh. Go off the table for sure. All right, bud. We'll get the camera on it. It is red. So that is stupid. Me. Okay. That'd be the only win you get all. No, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it will be. This is this is exciting and nerve-wracking for me, okay. actually. So we'll put the challenge on the board first. So we've got control the manipulation area. Get your champions out of the way so people can see. And control the destruction area as well. So it's a area so control game. Control the manipulation area and control the destruction area. Um, uh, no surprises there, I think. Oh, sorry. I've just... You saw that, didn't you? I saw nothing. I saw nothing. But you saw it, so we both saw so, it. So yeah, we both saw it. Sorry about that. I flipped a trap over. Uh, yes, I'm definitely doing that. What return. I might do is just move these traps. A little bit closer, thank you for that. So you don't have can to everyone at home still see? Yeah, they can. Sorry, you'll not have all your champions in your in your gate in a minute, so it's not too bad. There thank you. you. Right. Trying to keep everything in frame for everyone at home. Hopefully you can see everything really well. If there's so. anything you can't see, please say. We will also show uh, some cards off uh, to camera um, as we're going through, especially some of the teases, especially some of Nevermore and Lorelei's. If you have any questions in particular, please just let Josh know if there's a card you want to see and we'll show it. But we, we want to keep the game going pretty uh, pretty quickly, so if anyone's watching it later, they can kind of just enjoy the game. But um, you, we're always there in the chat, so just jump in. Um, all right. Okay. I'm nervous. I, I like think people might have lost us for about 30 seconds a couple of minutes ago, but it oh seems no. to all be good. Okay, good. Okay. So, my <laughs> mulligan first, yeah? That's so much defense. Yeah, your mulligan first. But so, I have a super interesting first time mulligan. Stop it. Oh! Full hand. Wow. Now, I don't know what Lorelei's reaction is, so can me. Lorelei's reaction? Uh, yeah. Me and everybody take a look at home and see what Lorelei's reaction does. So, Lorelei's intervention gives plus one defense, and after the attack, if no damage was dealt to the target, heals for three. Good, 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 good face there, Stu. <laughs> so, Lorelei's a 4 2. And could but you really want to try and take her out in one or two fell sweeps. You don't want a nickel and dime her. Yeah. Because then you might end up finding that she's fully healthy. Uh, all your work is just for now. Um, so was there any other, dis any other reactions in there? Uh, reactions? No, there were four actions. And I'll be very kind, as I did with Josh. I was Nature's Wrath, Soul Reeve, <laughs> Grim Harvest, and Healing Tears. Of which you know what one of those I know what one of those cards are. <laughs> <laughs> How did the office react to the 4,000 backers? Oh my goodness. Crazy. Oh, unbelievable. We were all shocked. Like it just, it, to, to happen so quickly, it, it was absolutely mad. I know in the Paris office, they were literally counting it down. I know in our office, Ed, Ed was, was literally on the comments as yeah, well, being sure. like, it's happening. I think um, it was, it's really crazy because it's not surprised us how well received it's been because we know how good it is. What has, uh, how does a step back is just the, the constant momentum. Yeah. Like we were expecting huge big push day one, usual Kickstarter rules, big push at the end, and in the middle people just kind of paying attention. But it's just been relentless. There's yeah. so much Real positivity, energy. so yeah. much energy, so much of, a, of like a growth. Like you said, the community pages coming together, doing yeah. their own prizes, their own competitions, yeah. their own thing. It's just insane. It's we, so the, the board so game proud. geek, yeah, board game spotlight, board game geek. Um, we've had Man vs. Meeple. We had a lot of community member ready, steady play. We had the battle cast, and we have analysis paralysis, the Spanish channel getting involved. We had some of our, our supporters over in Poland. I'm not going to try and murder the channel's name because it'd be tre terrible. Adam, if you're in the chat, you can share it. Or I wanna. Um, so yeah, we've had a, a real. Um, fantastic energy for the game and, and willingness from content creators to get involved in community and all you backers to join in. So we're, we're super surprised and kind of happy and energetic for it. Um, and sir, it is over to you. I have mulliganed one reaction, uh, Cornered Beast. 
and ravenous bite as well. Cool, um, I'll just mention again as, as she's getting ready to start deploying that we just let each other know that just as a, as a courtesy thing. It's not something you have to do in the rules. And the reason we do it is because the Discord pile is open information. You can check it and your opponents want it any time. So. Uh, Mm -hmm. There we go. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I am not scared. I'm going to be Myers on the right. Oh. No, do you know what? Let's put Tails on the right. Put Myers beside him and then we'll do Wrath in the center. All right, sir. Okay. So, I'm going to lead with spending my blue call. And we're going to play Take Flight. The uh, seems, signature move. Seems good. Of mm -hmm. the cats. So, we're going to swoop four. One, two, three, four. So, anything from zero to four, technically, yep. you could And do. then the first champion swoop through gets placed adjacent. <laughs> Are you to looking a cat? to see what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> they seem what it's like to be behind, doesn't I it? I suppose you could watch over yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to play Snowball. For Josh, is like, what? I can't oh. see what's oh. going on. It's all happening here. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll play Snowball, who's swept through into the uh -huh, manipulation uh -huh. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got a nice 8 1 on the, the starting area. I like it. Seems strong, doesn't it? Does seem strong. I'm going to spend my red core just to move mm -hmm. two. Okay, so that's just using two. the standard sprint mm -hmm. action. Uh, and then I'm going to play healing rain just for the movement, my yellow core. Yeah, so it's three movement. What's the One, rest two. of the cards say? Just so, so healing rain's got three movement, and I discard up to four cards. Uh, I heal my champions one for each of their cards discarded. Yeah. You want it? Yeah, you can yeah. Do. sure. You can do it, you can do your thing. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the tilt up with some There we go. There we go. So, in this case, were I to discard my death from above clairvoyance and wingstorm from my hand during the game, I would have healed a cat for two and Laurel. This for definitely one. says heal your champions. Yeah. All of your champions? Yeah. Um, for you each of their cards discarded. Each of their cards discarded. Oh, okay. So, if I discard these three, I'd heal a cat for two and yeah. Laurel for one. So, with yes. Okay, absolutely. That seems fantastic. You've got a lot of healing in your team. Yes, Lorelei is a support healing character. I now need to see if I can get through that damage, I guess. Yeah, did, uh, Arquette can also heal you. Yep. Um, Captain Moon asks, do we have plans for single release models or just as groups of three? Um, we do have plans for single release models as well. Um, once we hit retail at the start of Q2 next year, um, you will have, on average, one new champion every month or two champions every two months there or thereabouts to play with. And then we'll kind of bookend those kind of seasons or rotations or cycles or kind of development of the interesting points of the game. We'll tend to be kind of bookended by bigger releases and introducing new mechanics in the kind of three boxes where we have champions who are thematically or narratively or mechanically kind of really uh, cohesive and nice together. So what you're basically seeing on the Kickstarter page is the six champion core box plus the three sets three champions for Art of War, Circle of Blood, and Force of Nature. Um, but you will see a bit of variety in that going forward as well. OK, stuff needs to happen, and it needs to happen now. And I'm really sad that I really wanted to charge in with Tears, but I might have to be more strategic. And I don't really want to be strategic. I kind of want to just thump, thump, thump. <laughs> um, I love Tears' cards. He is a uh, powerhouse. He is a powerhouse. And I'm, I'm sitting here with two yellow cards right now, two creation cards, and I want to play them both so badly. So badly. Um, oh, it's making me really sad. No, we're going to do it with Tears. I think Tears is a bit of fun. Oh, am I going to do it with Tears, though? Oh, I'm just... Are you going to use a bit of fun as your excuse when you lose that? Yeah, that's, that's exactly... That's a good plan. I really... I, I literally have Tears. Tears is charged in my hand right now, which would so let strong. me which let me charge right in and could funk someone because I dash three and then I gain plus one strength for each hex dash so I'd potentially get this to strength four which would be incredible right now yeah. however you have two champions on the uh, on the area that's going to be worth two points in a moment mm -hmm. and I just uh, give it a buzz yeah <laughs> there you go I have two, you have two champions on the point which means I don't think that is a viable option for me at all I think I have to get you off the point which really makes me sad uh, like genuinely genuinely does the reason for Lorelei being back there is in case you have any push, 
Yeah. She's there to it cause me damage, but I have but a lot of heal up. You get it moved off. Moved off that zone. You're such a smart cookie, aren't you? Um, just want to quickly say to uh, Captain Moon again, organised play is absolutely something we'll be pursuing in this game. Yeah. Uh, the exact details are still there to be worked out, but uh, it's... From day one, it's what we've been building towards. Can you dash through your own heroes, champions? You can. Yeah, same with normal movement. I'm gonna, the, you know the crazy thing? Putting tears where I've left them has really got in my way, so I'm going to have to get tears out of the way here, which really makes me sad. Aww. So I'm going to spend my blue to simply use move one and plan one for my standard action. So I'm going to have tears move one mm -hmm. to here. And then I'm going to have a plan one. I'm going to put one card back on top of my deck, so I'll have it for next turn. I'm then going to use my yellow action for overpower. This is a card of Marius's. So he's got a move of one first. Then before the attack, he will dash two. So up to here. Then I will hit for strength two against a cat at his defensive one, unless you wish to react. I do wish to react. I'm going to spend my red core. Oh no, it's fear in it. I'm going to play Murder of Crows, which uh, is never much reaction. Okay. So, yep, yeah, pop it up. Murder of Crows is plus one defense, and after the attack, you ignore any after the attack effects and end all other lasting effects. So, he'll go to two defense. Yep, so we don't take any damage. Don't take any damage. And the after the effect that I had, which was force of one, which was going to be used, we we'll switch to the board again, was going to be used to basically bring Aket out of the area onto a trap. trap bringing you to one in the area. Free of the zone for you to move, yeah. I can test. I could yeah. go in and test, it just completely ignores that. I will say, because I don't think as knows, since we printed this version of cards, that has been changed. Okay, However, <laughs> nerf it slightly? Would, yes, <laughs> it would still be work. It, it would still work in this yeah. situation. Uh, we've changed, uh -huh. so only works if Nerf Mars within two hexes. Oh nice, cool. So, so Nerf Mars himself needs to, yeah, he needs to stay around and be close to the action. That was to have absolutely perfect though. That means I have literally no way I think I can now stop you scoring. Cause, Brilliant. Yeah, I have no way to push, pull or get you off of there. We've um, also got quite a few people asking the same question. Which uh, is? Will characters from our other IPs uh, feature in Super Fantasy Brawl? Um, I think it's very safe to say that we're really open to kind of alternate sculpts and different types of fun things and kind of taking champions in different ways. And we have been talking a lot about different games, IPs, or even our own and outside of our own, where we are looking at some space that we could have some fun with. But at the moment, we're focusing primarily on, on Fabulosa and the world of it. But It's options. really hard to, to put other IPs in when you've... It, uh, between uh, everyone in the office we've got so many ideas and now it's out in the world everybody's giving his ideas yeah. it's like yeah we can put like a right buster in it will just get moved back to character yeah. 52 at this point you know yeah. it just keeps on getting pushed further and further there's, away there's already so much character development that's yeah uh, and world building that's planned yeah. with the next releases as well yeah. that i don't think it's something that could happen not soon anytime soon. Yeah. yeah um my red action then is just going to simply be to sprint to and i'm going to put wrath here okay cool like so and that's that was a yeah a, a demoralizing turn that never more uh, reaction was stellar man was really well played very clutch i don't mind saying i've got majority red cards in my hand mm -hmm. so i hope i didn't have to use it because it's really going to start me my own turn it's uh, interesting having that on a red core which is often something you see some big hard hitting attacks that's why on, it's there. so yeah it's one of the things that we think about when we we put reactions on things like um from the ashes um Murder of Crows, Dark Steel Armor, Hold Ground. They're really powerful, impactful reactions. Yeah. So we put them on red to make sure that generally they're having power destruction card. Usually they're going to have one less because yeah. we tend to put them on one or two destruction cards. Um, for example, Flame Spear and Fireball for Gwen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's a tough uh, one. Both are red. Uh, and it will mean that they have one less and they have to contest the other one that's left yeah. with their reaction. Mm -hmm. So it's good balancing. I love it. So end of the round, challenges yep. will move across. So now control the manipulation area is on two, control the destruction area is on one, and now control the creation area wow. is on yellow. Now I want to be mad. I know, oh, I know Swoop is in your discard, so maybe I could get this before you can fly across again. I guess a great champion for, for moving see. around the board. So what happens at the start of my turn? Oh, I score last round. Oh! Uh, <laughs> two so points I do to, have people in there. Two so points to Stu. Two points. Very nice, right. very nice. Okay. While we've got such a good shot on the map one as well, we've had two people ask if we'd uh, consider four-player free-for-all. Um, I think it's absolutely something we can look at doing in the future, but it doesn't work for the map yep. as it is here. It'd have to be on a completely different map. For sure. 
Which we're definitely not ruling out. A completely no, no, different no, map is something we're definitely looking at. So. Hmm. I have a very slow turn now. Wah, 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 wah. But I think I'm still okay with that. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Um, so I'm going to play Dark Envoy first, mm -hmm. which expands my manipulation core to move one, two. Yes, never more. So cool. Yep. It's very cool, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play it because no one's in a direct line of sight. Now range two to three with a strength one. Uh, yeah. Uh, the interesting thing about it is it's one of the very, very few attacks that includes a plan in the attack. Ooh. Um, and here's a question for you. This is an attack, right? Mm -hmm. But because you haven't targeted anyone, mm -hmm. I can't react to it. Is that right? Or can I still react to an attack? Uh, yeah. It's the step after target to the yeah. plan. Yeah. That's it. So because I didn't declare a target, there's no step. Cool. Uh, so yeah, it's a really low strength. It's only strength of one. Uh, but it's got a plan two on it. So that ability to, to do something outside of the norm, it's yeah. almost like a signature thing of, of Nevermore. Okay. The theme when that card is in particular is that is um, his skeletal bird pet friend there. Oh. But, um, he's actually the one making the attack. That's why it's always straight one. It's just a little peck. But he's sort of scouting around. Oh, getting in that's intel, bringing wicked. Back yeah. And that's why it's got the plan too. Yeah. Okay. And then let's some of my yellow core. So a guiding light. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that's the I last love, card. I love the way you cheeky card, yeah. showed that to Josh as if to say, look how cheeky, look, yeah, get hit on his face. <laughs> look, look how cheeky, he went, look, Josh, look what I'm playing. Well, Game yeah, developers I mean, are ganging up on me, chat. Give he, me some help. showing off about how suboptimally he's about yeah, to Yeah, yeah, that's what I was, yeah, yeah, it's not a good show off, yeah. So it's a, it's a skill, it's move two. I'm yeah. going to move uh, one to here, that's yeah. all I'm going to move. Okay. And then the after effect of the skill is, is you place an ally adjacent to Nevermore. Uh, that ally gains plus one strength to the end of the turn. So it's a setup card, but I'm playing it as the last card. What I'm trying to do. Oh is yeah, but it's giving you like loads of free movement to get into the destruction zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's really yeah, tough. Yeah, move. <laughs> yeah, you're having a. You're yeah, having I mean, I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah I would no, rather no, have used it to set something up. I'm um, hoping no. to see that card later with the Lorelei card. I'm not gonna lie. I had two reactions that would have let me move my champions, and you didn't attack them. I'm so <laughs> mad. It's untrue. It's almost like he knows my champions. Your team so is draw very, three cards. Your team is very controlling of this board. It and is. I, it's I, a very controlling I'm team. I'm struggling to get you off this Is board. there somewhere we can see the lore of Fabulosa, not just for the champions, but for the entire set? There will be. There will be. There will be. Yeah. It's tied me to a desk and made me write more. Yeah, like we have to stop you. you oh, sorry, you have to stop me doing it. Yeah, uh, to be quick fair. word on this track here, because uh, people were asking if it's included in the pledge because I can't see it. Uh, on the Kickstart version, it's yeah. actually incorporated into the map. That's exactly right. This is we are playing with prototype components, and this 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 extra board here is, is literally just something we had for the prototype to kind of enable us to do some filming and, and maneuver this around wherever we need to. But it it's will be cameras, yeah, yeah. beyond the board uh, on the final version. You'll see that in the Kickstarter. Um, right, I'm going to have to go into proper thinking mode here because All I right. have no oh. idea how I can do anything against you right now. Uh, so it's a terrible hand. Oh shush your face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his bitterness now. So bitter. I'm, I'm, <laughs> is it reinforcing that I let you in thing? Yeah, is that what, right, is that what's it? bothering you? It's all, I'm also like, I want tears to be awesome and I haven't got a chance. He'll get his moment. He oh, will, he always he, does. He will get his moment. Yeah. Um, so Jonathan's what should... asking if, uh, if, we'll be able to, if we'll have the components to be able to play more than one game with one collection. So yeah, we actually confirmed that with a single all-in pledge, um, because you'll get the neoprene mat, or even if you just get the neoprene pad on, it, on, its, own, on its own, you will get enough to play two games simultaneously because essentially what you'll have is, if you do the all-in especially, is you'll have 15 champions and you need six per table, so 12, 12 is enough for that. You'll get both the punch board tokens that we offered initially with the game, but you'll also get the upgraded plastic tokens. And I'll s share a little bit of insight here. The plastic tokens you see in the Kickstarter page are not final. They're simply to give you a little bit of an idea of what's coming. We have some upgraded elements coming and some upgraded elements that you haven't even seen yet uh, still to come. Um, so you'll get both of those, not just the plastic, but the punch board as well. So you'll have both the original board with punch board and also the neoprene with the plastic. So you can uh, kind of lord over your friends from the nice table or they play in the normal table. What was really cool is... And the challenge cards as yeah. well, he's asked. Them. And yeah. yes, the so second yeah. deck of challenge cards. A couple of days ago, someone yeah. asked and, and said, oh, can we play with two? Or we can't because we've not got two challenge decks. And we read that comment, and yeah. the, literally within five minutes, as was on Skype, can we get a second set of challenge decks yeah. in here? No, because, because people want to play this. It was a great idea. Uh, and we had a quick talk about it. And it's like, yeah, absolutely we can. It was an absolutely awesome idea. Um, I'm so happy to see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really 
challenged right now. I'm not going to lie, having a, having a tough time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use my blue core mm -hmm. to move one and plan one with Wrath. I'm going to put Wrath here. Okay. Um, the card I'm going to plan is going to be this one. I'm then going to use my yellow core uh, for Rush. So this is a nice card Ooh. I want to show off actually for... Yeah. Um, for Tears, this is a two movement, and then Tears or an ally may dash two. Tears was always happy to be a team player, as long as he didn't steal his spotlight. Boom. So I'm going to move myself two to here and then to here. Yep. And then I'm going to have Mario's dash two, yep. like so. And that leaves me with a red core, which I'm simply going to use uh, for a move of one to put Tears in the middle to contest this, because I really cannot let you have... Another two points. Another two points would be grand. It would be sad panda time, so it would. Um, okay, so end of the round. Control the destruction area goes into two points. Control the creation area goes into one point. And we have have a champion adjacent to each statue. Just oh, as I we? moved Marius away from the statue. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Jason's in the chat. There's trouble. Oh, I wonder, he, he doesn't care about you or I. No. He wants to know what Stu's... Three favourite champions are uh, Taze, <laughs> Soka. I think Taze is not good enough. Darren. Oh, he's now clarified that he meant fluff wise. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 do you know what? No, it will change. <laughs> so, uh, favourite cat, still Darren. Um, is she also one of your favourite top three sculpts? Darren. Um, so, you want to win worlds? Pick Darren. Pick Darren. I no. don't even disagree with him on Darren Wishes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fluff wise, Darren. <laughs> um, still, mate. Well, see, Taze is an interesting one because I think there's so much where we can go with Taze because of his history. Mm -hmm. it's so it's so light, but there could be so much in it. I think as it is at the moment, it's Darren, Colel, Marius. Not Taze because of his catchphrase he came up. The, yeah, I mean, that's not necessarily the fluff. I love his catchphrases. Like I said, that's what I mean. Taze is an interesting one because I think there's so much space to expand on Taze. Mm -hmm. um, his flavour text is, is just fun in my heart. But I really like the story between Mariush and Lorelei, and then Derry is uh, there as well. And I, I think, actually, I think I'll say, if I could... Someone we've not revealed because they're, they're not here. Stop that. No, no, no. Stop no, that. No, sure. Stop yeah. that. No, would, would see, sure this is why Laura comes after the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have no law content left if we keep on Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. Just, there, would, there would be Darren, X, and <laughs> no, Mariusz. You're not allowed so. to bring stuff that the people haven't seen to do. So, a, based on what that is, yeah. That's a dick like, move is what it that is. is. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, a little bit. Mariusz, <laughs> Colel, Darren. Now, the 12 other questions that have been asked in the time it took yeah, to answer, that, answer that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, you're thinking about your turn, although I don't think you need to. You probably got me no, to I mean, I, I know what I want to do. I'm just going to read Charge because I, I, I didn't get a chance to play it yet, but the, the flavour text in this makes me so happy because it's Tears' card and it says, Tears knows who Tears is. Tears is the greatest of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Tears knows who Tears is. <laughs> oh, no. Brian said, Stu's top five rappers are Darren, 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 and Darren. <laughs> It's true. It seems legit. Darren, 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 T-Pain. Oh. So. Sneaky T-Pain. Uh, we'll fifth place Darren from last year's <laughs> championship. Championship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play uh, possibly my favourite card for um, Nevermore, actually, which is Nightmare. Yep. Uh, so it has a move of one and then a swoop of four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Nice. Oh, my and God. You've got two characters with swoop four? Yeah. Yeah. What uh, is happening? Enemies swooped through, so for one damage, uh -huh. and fear two. I think uh, that should be fear one, right? It is fear one. Fear one, that's amazing. Fear, right. fear one and one damage. Do you want to deal with what's on the card? It's not cause no, 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 no. I'm, I'm more happy to do fear one because I still know which one direction is away from me. There is only there's this one, right? That's fine? Yeah, that's still further yeah. away than each other. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. And it's like, well, you could have tried to keep the zone and walked onto that trap. Oh! But so no, that's why I'm interested to see if you did it or not. No, I, I don't think that's something I... Oh! oh. No, because I feel I've like... See, I've tortured you now, haven't oh, I? Oh, why did you... S look, and see, that that's we've been doing these exams, right? These exams on Facebook where we've been challenging people to solve the puzzle. And mm -hmm. this puzzle, if I have to be feared one away, it has to be further from Nevermore. So I have two choices, and it's either trap and stay in the zone with a potential control the destruction area coming, or it's out of the zone, so I definitely will not challenge it, but leaving it here when you've still got two actions left, 
However, have a champion adjacent to each statue's coming, so maybe you're reluctant to leave. I don't know, Stu. I'm just going to go with what my gut was. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to not going to cheatsy doodle like tech tech backsies like someone I know. Yeah. Make me That's, cry. I now. said it. Yeah, I said it. Um. Well, that was my blue call. So I'm going to spend my. Oh, it's very sad. My destruction cords to move two. One two. Okay. Um, and you know, I think that's it, as crazy as that sounds. I think I'm done. I don't even want to move with a basic action. Everyone's in a regular really position. Uh, you, don't need, you don't need to heal of, one? I don't need to heal, and I have a hand of support cards in my hand right now that later on I'm really going to make a massive So you're difference. actually beating so, so badly right now that you're skipping using a core this turn? Yeah, if had you been able to do <laughs> anything at all to me, as then maybe I'd be I worried. I have been able to do <laughs> nothing to you so far. The sure boy. Oh, this is... Uh, I don't even need my hand. Did you need my yellow cord? You, you can have... <laughs> got a spare if you need one. What reactions are in your bin, my friend? Okay, I still so don't. I look at the. You've never asked me that ever, and now there's none in my bin. See, you might have thought people might have thought that was a bit of a hill move there, Stu. We've just had Ashley saying, "Crush him, Stu." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what I will say, which is going to be really interesting, because I need to spay it, send it, is that I have four of my yellow cores in the discard that's, that's pile. That's not amazing. Not great. Not amazing. So there's there's some space for you to claw it back. I'm gonna try something, and it could be about to go really, 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 really bad. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play my yellow. Okay. I'm going to play that long-awaited charge. Okay. That's cool. going to let me before move one if I wish to, but I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, and so I should. I did check, of course, what was available, and I, I do not control anything, so I'm gonna carry on. Oh wow. Okay. I know. Wait, wait, I, okay. Yeah. I'm so scared. I'm going to try and dash three to here. Wow. Root. Through root. the trap, and if this is root. <laughs> This is root. This the, is the game does not like you today if that's a root card. If this is a root, it's going to be a real sad, sad, sad day. You ready for this? See, it's interesting because I would have moved one back and then dashed at Nevermore. Interesting. See, I would have moved to there and then dashed that way. So if that's a root trap, you're all right because you've got that. But There's if I dash this way, I'm in the red zone still. Who, oh, you're going for that cat. Okay. I'm no, no, I'm going for Lorelei. But this way, if I get rooted, I'm still in the red zone. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so okay. It's, How it's, interesting that all yeah, three of us had, three three had a different yeah. approach yeah. on that. So you would have gone here, yep. charged to contest the yellow, For sure. and hit Nevermore. And hit yellow. And I want to go yeah. straight through to mm -hmm. go after Lorelei, yeah. risking this trap. And just you would have gone back through to here, but no, no matter what this was, it's You'd fine because it was adjacent, right? So Josh was but trying to guarantee yeah. hitting. But he's he's going out of both zones that are yeah. currently... He's guaranteeing mm -hmm. the damage. You're guaranteeing the attack. Yeah, you're guaranteeing you can score potentially. If you don't think that is epic, yeah. there's something wrong. That's really cool. Take a picture and put this as a challenge tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm. Oh, no, I don't know what to do. Yeah, Grim, you've got the free colour cards uh, and you use them to play the matching colour cards, but there's also standard actions. Um, if we're all right, just show Oh, yeah, sure. That. I'll just interrupt my turn here for Graham. Thanks, Graham. <laughs> There's <laughs> also standard actions. Uh, so you can spend manipulation to move one and plan one with any champion. Speed Creation speed. to move one and heal one with any champion. Uh, destruction to move one and deal damage with any champion. And you can also spend Akar to move two with any champion. So granted, they're usually all weaker than cards, but you can always do them, and you can always do them with any champion. Hi. Hi. So yeah, the, there is a bit of variance in there, but we are it's a diceless system, mm -hmm. and all of the variance comes from the cards. It's a controlled variance, yeah. All the actual combat values are completely deterministic. Come on, handsome, what are you doing to me? I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> are you going your original plan to keep the zone? I think I've got to, right? Because if I, I die by my own sword kind of thing, right? That's yeah, my yeah. thought. So I am charging. I've got a move up to one, which I'm not going to spend, because yep. I, before my attack, I will dash three. Yep. Here I go, into this trap. I'm going to bring it into three the or root. Three or root. A three is fine. I don't care if it's a three. Root. Oh. Anything root but is what root I'm is root. That's Ooh. okay. That's okay. Two's okay. So I'm on. I'm on. I'm on three damage, six health. Right. I'm okay. okay. So I've got to replace a trap right now. Okay. Yeah. And so I'm just going to stop these. I'm going to pop it uh, here. Okay. And then I'll take that two that we just triggered and shuffle it essentially back into the trap. Cool. Um. So I'll continue my dash. Yep. So I'm now behind a cat here. Just watch this too. 
and in front of Lorelei, and I will hit Lorelei for a strength one attack, but this attack gains plus one strength for each hex dashed, and I dash three hexes. Yep. So strength four strength against four. Lorelei. Please don't have too strong a reaction. And if you do play it, don't slow play me. I, I'm, I'm going to make you sure. Gonna choose, I'm going to choose not. I'm going to make you sure you hand the camera while I look away to make sure you're not throwing this. Okay. So you want it? You want it? <laughs> so. So. Yeah, I'm going to choose not to react. Okay. So I'm going to hit you for strength four against defense two. So I think you take two damage. Then. And I'm going to spend my red core. Okay. With tears, okay, to play finishing blow. Oh, so it's a strength three attack, and before I may dash two if I wish, but if the target is bloody, this ignores defense. That is sad times. Because I am blooded because I only have four health. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yay! <laughs> Vindication. So I've just, I've just realised something terrible though. <laughs> I've just realised something really, 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 really bad that I didn't realize because I didn't think through my entire turn. I, I now I can't, you did. I now I can't contest both. both oh no, I can. No, I can't. No, you can't. No, I can't. Can I? Nope. Well, don't oh, forget, I don't know. Do don't you have get to level up Tears. Oh, level up Oh, Tears' level up side is, when Tears' dash is stopped by an enemy, that enemy suffers one damage. Nice. Um, hold on, so I'll, Crud. It's the wrong colour as well for yeah. the tasers. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think you can stop me now. <sighs> so the best thing is, is they're both going to be worth two points. Yep. So <laughs> Look you, at your little you can just face. pick which one you <laughs> give me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The card that will help you is a yellow core, so you should have took it when I have. <sighs> Ooh. Right, as honestly thinks I let him win, right? And I really, really don't. So. It may seem like I'm enjoying this, but I'm finally going to win one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think you might have spoke a bit too soon. Oh, I'd, don't I'd say this. A short while. I don't think he's spoken too soon. Yeah, Ashley's ac absolutely spot on about drawing actions and um, planning actions. Um, we played a game on stream that I think's on YouTube now mm -hmm. uh, from Tuesday night, and planning was absolutely crucial in that yep. game. There was there was three oh. cards planned at one point, two of which were reactions, which were one in the game. Parity. Literally yeah. one just the game. Um, I really didn't. Th I thought my turn through two actions. I did not think my turn through three actions. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's, a shame. <laughs> it's a real. It's heartbreaking. I'm gonna play my blue. Uh, for bludgeon, Tears is gonna. Tears is a hitter, not a quitter. You know that. Tears knows that. Everybody knows that. He's gonna. <laughs> you love him, don't you? <laughs> I love Tears. He's gonna move two. He's gonna do a range two uh, indirect attack at strength two onto a cat, and after the attack, stun. And that's like obviously stone. representing those big mauls that he's got hanging from his uh, sure. wrist. Sure. So. Stun. I thought that might be interesting. I don't like that. So it's but two I can't play that. It's two points to one right now. Yeah, I mean, one gets through. Is it strength two, did you say? Strength two, yeah. So yeah. one, so one gets through. Uh, on on um, cat, please. On cat, sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you can take the health, da the damage off Lorelei too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Game state. Judge. 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 Uh, let's lose Wingstorm. Okay. So, end of the round. End of the round. This is a sad time for me. I did oh. I, should, I think both of your plays would have been better than mine in the end. No, I think, I think your play, Shu, is the one I think I should have gone with in the long run. So, at the start of your turn. So, we've got control the destruction area on two points, control the creation area on two points, have a champion adjacent to each statue on one, and control the enemy deployment area will be upcoming. But it's just oh. scores another two objective because I'm. This team is, is shockingly fast. I mean, I knew it was going to be fast, but like, redeploy the whole board fast. It's. Not going to lie, I, my, I've, I've failed to get Marius in the action, um, so I've not been able to put out enough damage. Wrath is just not the champion I want against such a high defense team. Um, oh, you are. Yeah, Raph's much better at killing people, uh, well, taking people out of action like Kolel, Carvash, yeah. and Suzel with those big health totals, but no defense. Okay. So, if I want to play that. Oh, this game's good. Then I play that. What I agree to play first. I play this one. Right. I play this one. Right. So, if I play that one. 
what's the chat saying? Will the game retail in America or just Europe? It will retail worldwide. Boom, baby. You'll be able to get it. Uh, North Brian, to south. Brian says that Taze is quickly winning a place in his heart. The <laughs> model is obviously amazing. The mobility is great. And those quotes really seal the deal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How amazing. What right. I'm quite disappointed by is we have I haven't seen any Lorelei flavor text. Oh, for sure. Because well. I'm particularly fond of her uh, Well, I've got an attack. attacks. Yeah, for sure. I think so. Stu should play one just so we can read the flavor text. I, no, I play the gear for real, I, Stu. No, I, I'm not having For reals, is definitely me playing this card, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to play... How quickly can I get her to move? One, two, three. Yeah, strong, yeah, strong play. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm just watching Stu talking ones and twos. Yeah. Um, two one, two one. Clairvoyance. Yes. What's it doing? I don't know what it does. So, so clairvoyance. I uh, move three, so I move back toward one, two, three, or even one, two, three. Let's go for three. Do one, Laura. Uh, this is my favourite Laura White card. Draw one. Yeah. Plan five. Um, up to five. Up to five. Up to five. Up to five. So, so I can plan yeah. my whole hand now. It's something we had a question about. Any time that there's no minimum number set, or any time there is a draw x dash x swoop x, you always do up to. It's just a, a thing throughout the entire game. Uh, it's always up to that number. Um, that just, I'm actually only going to plan one. If there's ever a, a minimum that you must do, it would say plan two to three. You'd have to plan two, for example. You'd have for to. Sure. Uh, same with uh, ranges on attack. If it's three, it's up to three. If it's two to three, it's two to three. Very specific. Uh, I'm going to play my creation card next, just to move two. One, two. Yeah. And then I realise I've done this wrong. Because awesome. the card has a minimum range on now. Awesome. <laughs> uh, and you will score oh, two points. No, no, you you can two. always use your sprint to get in. Yeah, yeah, but I'd like to play the card just for the flavour. Okay, well, I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it to sprint. I'm moving because I don't want to lose. Uh, one, two. Yeah. Uh, however, I will give this card so you can enjoy the This card is crazy so before we get to this. Before we get to it, this is the Nexus, power of this Nexus card. Rat. So it's a movement of two and then a range of three to four. So it yeah. cannot be one, two or anything above that. Strength three and this attack ignores the defense of the target. She's got bite, does the dryer. She only has two attacks though. Oh. In a whole deck. And so and we need a way to level her up. Her, mm -hmm. her uh, flavor text says, grasping vine and stinging thorn, bones are broken, widows mourn. Wow. Wrath of nature. Love it. For sure. All right. Over to me, sir. Over to you. Start of my turn. I no longer, con long oh, la, la, la. no longer control the destruction area. I like the way Lorelei has decided to just headbutt the, <laughs> the, the, <blood> the bludgeon <laughs> of, of tears ever so bravely. Hello. You came back from war very quickly. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to play... gonna play Nightshade, which is a blue core from um, Wrath, and that's mm -hmm. gonna let me draw two cards and then yep. plan one. And on top of that, Wrath's next attack gains poison. poison. It would be great if I had a Wrath attack in hand. Grr. Okay. So I'm gonna have to have a think. I've got two cards. Well, the the draw here. two can help you dig into them. Yeah. For sure. So. Um, so. Hmm. Replace Widow's Mon with Asmon's and that flavour text is accurate. <laughs> was that Ash by chance? That was Ash, yeah. yeah. It was Ash. Colour me not surprised. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Okay. I'm going to play... Okay. Oh, I'm still trying to think what two cards I should put back. I'm definitely going to put this one, put that one back. I think I'm going to let that one go. Leo, stop di distracting people. What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? We've got several. We've got backers who are. Uh, we've got oh. viewers even who are. Uh, they're not watching the game because they're too distracted by Leo in the chat. And Leo's admitted that he's not watching the game. He's just having fun in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? If you're having fun, then that's, that's all that really that's matters. The most yeah, are you here? You're enjoying yourself? Then we're all good. I am. A -okay I'm certainly with that. here enjoying myself. So I am having a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, my um, red core will play Rodeo. Rodeo is oh, another no. card. Powerhouse uh, card. So this says th move three, 
and may move through enemies, and enemies move through suffer two damage. The Thundering Thriller was a title T has earned through a hundred victories. So I'm going to move uh, one, yeah, two, yeah, three. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'm going to finish. Oh, let me think. With that second. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to. I want to just see where I want to finish. I'll um, apply my wounds anyway because you're still going to stomp me, right? Um. I'm st yeah, I'm def yeah, I'm definitely yeah. moving through. I'm just trying to work out. So you know the first two moves. Yeah. You could choose uh, to go on this trap, and then you could be trapped and not contesting. I don't know what I'd do, but it helped me win. I, uh, but I'm going to... I am going to move on. No, I'm not going to move on to that trap. I think I'll finish here. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that'll be two damage to Lorelei, two yeah. damage to Aket. So, okay. so Lorelei has only two remaining, Yeah. Um, and Aket has four remaining. Um, reactions and discard, please, Stu. Uh, Murder of Crows. Awesome, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Overpower <laughs> is move one. Yeah. Uh, before the attack, dash two. Yeah. We'll do a strength two attack on Laurelie. And then after the attack, it will force one. If it makes it through. Hmm. Just a bit off the top of my head, I think seven of the champions on the Kickstarter have a draw effect. I think it's seven. One. Let's go through it. So Goldar two. has one. Yeah, Goldar. Dogrin has one. Sokka has one. Dogrin. Kolel has Kolel. some. Uh, uh, Darren does. No. No. Yes. Right? Yeah, with yeah, not draw. Not okay, draw. Uh, yes. Yeah. No. Discard rea uh, recursion. Um, I didn't count. But that. not. A, not a, uh, yes. No. So that was one, seven, seven yeah. Interesting question. Uh, so reacting to a strength two attack on Laura Lee with a no, force of one? I can't. So the damage will not do anything. A strength yep. two against defense two, but we're looking to force you into this trap. Okay, it's this gonna be is one really damage and not even hurt. Oh, well, it will hurt, but not kill me. Yeah, knock me out. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, and uh, you've got to replace the trap. But if you got, oh, what happens first? The trap, the trap replacement will happen first? Uh, the trap replacement happens as soon as yeah. you do the trap. So you want to do that, Stu, before you do anything else with your, I see, a, I see an Aket reaction coming here. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't, can you? Can you? Because it had to happen before. It happened, happened on the attack, yeah. specifically. Yeah, so you're... It's not part of the attack, it's part of the... Yeah. Because the trap finished me, not the... Yeah. Uh, I think I know what's in your hand. Yeah. Sad times. Sad times. Yep. So I'll, I'll take a second point. I have to and read over and think about the coordination. Get my second level up. Hopefully that uh, challenge doesn't come up. Yeah, yeah, right. So now I've got... I was winning so well. Uh, come on. <laughs> Mario is now uh, if his attacks gain lifesteal while well, he's bloodied. Nice shoot. End of the round. For sure. <laughs> Control the destruction area moves one. Have a champion adjacent to each statue becomes now worth two points. Uh, and worth saying, control the destruction area is now down from two to two one. one. Uh, have a champion adjacent to each statue is two. Control the enemy deployment is now on to one. And have two more champions adjacent to Ragnall's statue. Oh, I don't like seeing that because I can't, it's hard for me to displace you. And I just lost a force. I don't like seeing that, that at all. That changes what I'm doing now. I don't like that in any way, shape, or form. Right. So we, we've had two camps forming in the commons. Oh, One I bet who want to see a Leo champion. One who wanted to see a shark champion, but it's happened. We've now got people asking for a Leo shark champion. I am envisioning a shark with a half-eaten Leo, like his legs coming out. Hanging out. Oh, I was and thinking like Leo, but his hair's a the shark. The fin. <laughs> shark fin. It's Leo's hair just as a fin. I was with you there as well, yeah. I kind of imagine Leo as a panther. Well, Steve, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. <laughs> Is about all I can it's say. All, is that literally all we can say. Is there a specific dark website that's on the dark <laughs> net for wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Leo Panther content? And Toby wants to know which character has an instant win card. Well, pay attention to uh, upcoming uh, entrance exams, is what I'll say for that. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, there's, there's, there are some champions that in the perfect situation, if you can line, align the stars, you can get it just the way you want it, you can pull off some big plays. It okay. requires some degree of unintentional cooperation <laughs> from your opponent. <laughs> unintentional cooperation, I love that. Okay, so we're going to lead with lifesteal. 
with Soul Reef. Uh, I can move two. Uh, I am, in fact, just going to move to here. It's got a range of two indirect. It's a strength to attack with life steal. I'm going to attack. And in my Rath. defense, zero chance. Yeah. So, uh, life steal. Oh, he's oh, not damaged. Oh, he's not damaged. Yeah. He doesn't need anything fancy with uh, it. Nope, nothing fancy. I just wanted to move and figure out might as well hit you in the face at the same time. Um, I have a question, and I don't want to. I don't want to give anything away, but it's going to. It's going to give something away. Uh, this isn't just him, right? It can be the person. The, it's the target. Yeah, the reaction, right. Does it? Yeah. And you know when, right? You know the stuff. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I don't think it's going to. Uh, if a player takes their own champion out of action, then their opponent will gain a victory point. And you can push and pull allies, but you can't normally target allies. But it can happen through every effect or cards that allow you to target allies. Specifically, yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to react, so I'll okay. take two on wrath. Two on wrath. Nevermore doing some damage, man. And he's got none to heal, right? Yeah, none, none to heal. No, he's, he's just doing good time. Come so. on, wrath. Come on, wrath. So it's interesting. I can do two things here. I can either go for the, the score and hope you can't displace me, or I can just fly around a bit. <laughs> um, was that a subtle clue, was it? Um, oh, oh, I'd do both. Maybe I'd do. <laughs> maybe, maybe I go for both. Um, no, because I have to move Nevermore to contest. Maybe I give you the point on. No, because I do this. I give up a point and then it comes back to bite me. So I'm going to not do that. I'm going to move one. And deal one damage with the basic uh, destruction action to yeah. Wrath. Mm -hmm. Take him to three. Um, oh. Nah, let's go for the big play. I'm going to play Take Flight. Okay. Need one, two. Three, also, what? Oh, four. sorry. You're, yeah, you're chipped uh, on Wrath. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And place never more there. That is incredible. It's got that. That is in One, two, three, shuffle it up for two more. Oh no. Uh, yes, Grim, we uh, we are going to have colour based rings for um, for team colours. Uh, the on the Kickstarter campaign. The colours we've currently got them was indigo and orange. Indigo and orange, yeah, that's right. I didn't like giving up a point because that almost always comes out to bite me. I'm like, ah, it's only one, and then uh, it's not only one. And you've shuffled up your deck too. Yeah, so I drew three, four, five. So at the start of my turn. You control destruction. So I get one point. You do. So you're on four, I'm on three. But you have set yourself up for a single potential victory point from two next. Okay, I'm going to have to take a second to just mull some stuff over. Because um, your force card is in your discard from Marius. So just a quick reminder for some people who yes. joined later or can't see. So Stu controls Ake, who's here. Uh, Nevermore. And Lorelei, who's currently <laughs> under gate. And as has Raph, currently free damage on him. Tears, also with free damage on him. And Marius. Yeah. And the current challenge is I've just scored control of the destruction area at the start of my turn for a point, putting him on three. And Stu's on four and he's one point to win. And the current challenges are have a champion adjacent to each statue, control the enemy deployment, and about to see have two or more champions adjacent to Ragro's statue um, appear. Um, I didn't check your discard pile before you shuffled in. I really should have. Really should have. Hmm. See, I'll pull with the curtain back on my side. So what I'm hoping is that you can't displace me. Yep. Well, I, I can tell you I cannot displace On the flip you. side, if you can't displace me, I'm hoping... If you can displace me, sorry, I'm hoping that the three damage on Wrath will allow me to pick on him and get the win anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very, very nice play. Um, so I'm looking... I've got one, this is this is almost a challenge, this is I want to take a second, because I've got two mm -hmm. reactions, okay. and those reactions are not getting planned, so I can kind of roll them out. And I'm interestingly left, I'll show people at home, with three cards multicolored. Do you want to show them? I'll show them, those right. Josh is telling me what to do, I'm going to follow Josh's guidance. So I've got a Marius card, where I can potentially dash in and start attacking a cat. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, hold on, I shouldn't show you. I should hold on a second. I'll, show, I'll turn away. Because yeah. <laughs> you, you could have reactions. So I've got this. I've got this. And i got this. Mm. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, 
So, yeah. The problem is, I definitely can't do all three. No, I can't. I'm not going to win. What? <laughs> can you dash through your allies? Did we talk about that? Yes, you dash through your allies. So, right, that is. See, now I'm worried you're letting me win. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm definitely I can not. actually tell. Yeah, he is not. super focused. Uh, I'm just sad that I don't want everyone at home to be like, <sighs> and then just give Ash time to, you know, be mean. Um, this is this is really, really tough. I'm not sure I can eke out enough damage in any case to make this happen um, because I'm one hex on top of myself. Um, <laughs> so they, they can't see that now. Josh isn't helping you for some reason. Josh doesn't want the chat to see that card. Um, this is going to say. Okay, so um, after the attack abilities from reactions will go before after the attack abilities from attacks. Yeah. So things that cause fear or let you dash or have over placement effects or displacement effects oh, can no. often mean that the pushes and pulls won't be uh, able right. to happen anymore. So our cat is you come back to life. Don't care. No, do care. Because you come back to life adjacent to the, the target. To the attacker, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. If that's what you have, there's no way for me to stop you here, is there? If that's what you really have. If that's what I have. If that's what you have. If you have never more, it's a fear, right? No, okay. so it negates the post attacks. Negates the post attacks, okay. And if you have Lorelei, it's a plus one defense. And, and if you don't damage me, I heal three. Oh! Oh, there's two of those are really, really bad. Okay. Playing my blue. Okay. Playing Ravenous Bite. Right. Before the attack, dash two. Yep. So I'm going to dash. Marius. I'm going to attempt to hit for a strength three attack on that cap against the defense of one with life steal. Yep. You're going to take two damage. Take two damage. Oh no, he's got the reincarnation. He's got from the ashes. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> Why do I have to stop this? Um, and it's going to be adjacent to the attacker. Yeah. Was when you'll come back mm -hmm. if that is what you have. If that's what I have. God, I hope you're not bluffing. I have to play like you are bluffing, right? I have to. Oh, this sucks. Okay, I'm going to use my blue core. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, my yellow core, yellow sorry, core. forgive me. Uh, to sprint two with wrath. Okay. Oh, now, I'm going to play a skill. <laughs> which can't be reacted to. Yeah. Deal two damage to an adjacent enemy. <laughs> and then place wrath adjacent to an ally. Because skills can't be reacted to. I hope you have it in your hand. I really hope you do. <laughs> I'm on one point. And Wrath will level, level up. up. So now it's 4-4. Four, four, Three leveled up champions. Uh -huh. And you can place Wrath if you'd like uh, to. Adjacent to an ally. This is a really scary moment here. Because I want to do something very particular. But I'm very nervous about doing it. Um, it's four piece now, yeah. Yeah, I want to place Wrath adjacent to Tears because that's your deployment. And if I control your deployment at the start of my turn, no, you can just walk out, right? That's too risky. And I maybe just want to keep him, keep him safe. He has only got three health left. He has only got three health left, you're exactly right. But Tears is in the way. I just had a trap potentially. I can move him there. The, sta the scary thing is I kept swooping in and, and pushing him, dropping him on a trap or... Um, although you did use it there, but your desk, desk card bag got shuffled, so you could have it back. So, it's <sighs> so Wrath is going to get placed. Human skill. <laughs> <laughs> Sword four. Um, this is so much closer than I would want. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confident. <laughs> I was going. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope if I lose, but I'm fine right now. <laughs> I don't know how I get the last point because you're now three full health champions again and it's taken me a lot of effort to get one down. 
Um, even with Wrath having poison, it's like, how do I make this happen? So, <laughs> I really like. Was, was, can we have a sun timer add on for when you're playing against us? That's Ben, by the way. Is that Ben? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, I mean, ben. the clocks has been discussed, right? That's yeah, we are talking about clocks for sure. My time is now out. Uh, we did. We set this up to say exactly what this game meant to the two of us. So yeah. It's, uh, yeah. This means a lot. Yeah. If you want to go watch Hollywood, I, ben, I really, I really <laughs> like Lorelai on the table because she's so interesting. Uh, just while you think about what you're doing. <laughs> what, what am I trying uh, to decide again? Where Rath? Or Rath <laughs> adjacent to an ally. Adjacent right? to an ally. Choose here. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going there. Screw it. I'm going to put him in the. I'm going to put him in the middle. Uh, yeah. My other card, by the way, I had three different colored cards. My other card was charge with tears. But I couldn't get him and Myers together. So I kind of was forced to go that way. Um, but that order, if I had done it skill and then attack, and Stu had a Ket's reaction to Rise in the Ashes, he would have placed himself beside the yeah, creation pillar, Ryag Ragro's pillar, and got a point to, and would have won. So playing it in that order was why I was thinking about it quite so much. Uh, end of the round? End of the round. So, have a champion adjacent to each statue is worth two. Control the enemy deployment is worth two. Have two more champions adjacent to Ragnar's yellow statue is worth one. And then have two more champions trap hexes is now. Oops. Incredibly gutted oh, been a bit that you had that skill. I was I assuming an attack, and I don't mind saying that I do have a reaction in my hand. Uh, it, was, it was intervention. So, a strength two attack would have gone up to two, would have stopped it, and hit yeah. the three. Which and then the chances of you taking out a cat yeah. would have been zero. zero. So have played it on the first I attack. should have played on the first attack. I wouldn't have got, got the really reaction. Yeah. Because you I, wanted to I would have took damage. So you would have survived? I would have survived. Oh, that's even worse. That's the one, one right? On yeah. one right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, on one. Yeah. I'll stew. I know. Even if you're you not, you're not 4 2 up anymore. Um, are you? I'm no, no, but I haven't lost yet. This is true. I mean, I'm on. Th uh, Wrath is 3 health. Tears has 6 health. Mario is 7. Guiding light. Okay. Ooh. 1 2. Oh, hang on. This is. Not going to be this is going to be less than optimal. Less than optimal. Stu. You've no other champions. On I've the got other champions. Well, How do well, I do this? Well, Stu, did you just play a card and then take it back? Yeah, I did. Are we doing take back seats? One hundred percent. Oh, um. <laughs> chat, come on, chat. Well, I will let Stu know that Eric is watching. And oh crap! Now I need to win. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just before. Actually, you... let me talk to Eric for a second. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just here, just here. Okay, Eric. <laughs> uh, tell me this. I just want to know. And it's just just you and I. Forget everybody else for a second. Does you always use take backsies? Because that's three games in a row he's not used take backsies. Tell me, Aaron. It's just why I think about it. Okay, so I'm going to have to play. Yeah, really the so chat want me to protect the laptop from the table flip that's coming. <laughs> 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 okay, so I can still do what I wanted to do, but I had a backup if it went horribly wrong, and now I don't. Do you know, no matter what happens, and I mean this, mm -hmm. this game has been great. It has. No take backsies. What, from Eric? From Eric. As in, he never takes them, or he's not allowed any? Cause I mean, it should be both. <laughs> should be both. <laughs> no, I, I just, I like, I just play with you. Yeah, it's because I forgot I kept was off the table. So this, my backup was keeping this for uh, hitting you in the face. But I'm going to have to spend it just to move on, and I'll hit Taze in the face. Why not? Why not? Taze has done just five health. The plan is still guiding light. Mm -hmm. Moving one, two. Uh oh. So what can I, can I please know what guiding light does <laughs> again? <laughs> Absolutely, you can. So Guardian Light, place an ally adjacent to Nevermore. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, that ally gains plus one strength until the end of the turn. Okay. And then my blue core is giving me a death from above. So before the attack, I swoop three. One, nice. two, three. Yeah. It's an arc attack in front of me, which is going to hit Wrath. Yeah. It's a strength two attack, which can go up to a strength three attack. Yeah. So I'm hoping you can't react to it. Because I you put two uh, yeah. reactions in your discard pile last turn. I put two reactions in my discard pile last turn because I, I had to play, and I do not have a reaction in hand. So three damage to Wrath? Three damage to Wrath. Wrath is knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> I won! <laughs> Very well played. Game, oh, I was so was panicking. Awesome. I was just, if he were, he's got one reaction... Whose reaction did I have? I, I Tears's were gone. And well, that's it. You didn't tell me which two were in there, and I didn't want to ask. So Mario's is. Oh, you yeah, well, always, you always uh, can ask. Mario's reaction still come. Would that have saved me? Uh, it would have been two damage back, but you don't get that uh, health yeah. off it. So. It doesn't yeah, add so. any defense. It just hurts yeah, everyone. Yeah. So, so you. So I had that you one. Had that I one. did have Very one. nicely done, sir. So I kept back in, moved to Nevermore with his like summon ability essentially, yeah. and then swooping Swoop across to find the weakened target. And if I had put him anywhere, really. Oh, I would have had to put him like even further. If I had put him in your deployment zone, 
getting him there. I could have got the plus one strength, yeah. Yeah, that's... Um, Although in my point was I would have moved on and hit you yeah. originally and tried. Yeah, right. so uh, there's a few places, and actually from where your allies were, I don't think you could have escaped. Right, I'm which really, is a great combo. I'm really impressed for just a Paul to have come up with such a, a great feeling team with a lot of synergy together. For sure. Um, yeah, team. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, shouldn't bl I shouldn't blame the tools. I think these guys were, were good. Uh, Wrath came in critical, Tia's got in the action, Marius came up good at the end, you know. They I mean, right to the end, you had all three of your champions leveled up, right? Yeah. That, that's a thing that was happening. Yeah. So if any point the two champions leveled up, I would have really struggled to stop you. Yeah, I, I definitely felt, uh, like, having Marius and Wrath together, I think I, I wouldn't do, I would drop one of them for someone with a little bit more displacement. Yeah, this, um, this game they have felt... Similar roles. Yeah. yeah, this game felt how I thought the Art of War Circle of Wood game was going to go. Mm -hmm. I had so much area control and displacement yeah. and yeah. maneuverability, which I expected from the Art of War team, mm -hmm. uh, which they did have. Uh, I don't think this level, but they had it. Uh, but I had no punch. Yeah. Uh, the team really struggled to have a punch. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and equally, your team has a lot of punch, as you can tell. Yeah, because you only did, across the whole game, 10, 10 damage. Um, yeah. But you, you focused the damage on Wrath really well, yeah. um, which was awesome. Uh, Lorelei is such an interesting one, because that, mm. that four health changes said this a few times the game because it almost switches like okay well i could try an area control but with four health and two defense maybe i just harvest lorelei turn yeah. after turn and i can stop that by keeping her off the board but yeah. then i'm playing two men down yeah which then means you can switch to area control so it's yeah. such an interesting character um good game really what's the chat game. thing of that one gg and graph gg <sighs> eric's very pleased you won as well yeah eric <laughs> <laughs> what time are we on mentor uh just after half past Shall we let you boogie and shall we do lower time? I want to play more Super Fancy Brawl, I'm not going to lie. Let's play more Super Fancy Brawl. We don't, we don't need to chat. Let's play Super Fancy Brawl. It'll be good fun. Shall we let you, let you go, will we? And we're going to have some lower fun. Yes, yeah, so we'll have a chat and then we can always play when the everyone's falling asleep at the desk. So, <laughs> so hold on a second. Don't, don't take your microphone yeah, off just yet. because uh, first. Uh, you can say goodbye to everyone. I'm going to go over here. Do, do, do. Yeah, go ahead. So, bye guys. I'll see you in uh, one of the other lives. Uh, for Another sure. evening of the campaign, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You're my favourite tab. What number am I you on? <laughs> three. <laughs> three, there we go. Let's turn, let's turn Josh's off so you don't have to listen to Josh's uh, T-shirt. I love that when we're sorting out what lives we were doing, it's like, oh, you can do two. And then it's like, oh, could you do three? Maybe we do more. Maybe we do more lives. And I keep coming in every day and saying, what are you doing for lunch? Because maybe we do a live. We just next time? Yeah. And then I keep saying, sorry, Stu. So you're I'm doing, doing a live real on work. Facebook with yeah, other people. Yeah. yeah. Could you just pass that around? Uh, absolutely, I can, yeah. All right, Josh, thank you for monitoring the comments and dealing with all the technical issues. Mm. I'll take that from you, yeah, there you go. We definitely need uh, someone in the team here. We get Leo here to do our tech support. <laughs> Leo on tech support. Leo on tech support, <laughs> man. Right, and I'll go back to the... I'll be relegated now. I, I, come, I come up to the playoffs one time and then get smacked down and now I must relegate myself back to the, the old seat. Thank you, buddy. Safe, safe trip home. Have a good weekend, my man. I was about to say see you tomorrow, but I'll we'll see, see you on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Bit of a spoiler about what's happening. Ooh. Oh, man, that, that was, was, that was tense, right? Yeah, you're going to move around and join me around here. Well, it's really cool. Like, we can chat some lore. We can look at the three champ, the Fortune Nature decks uh, yeah. properly if we want to. I've we can. flavor text in there because I, I know people really wanted to see them on the table. Um, Let's bring this in a little bit. Let's bring that was bit. such a fast team. It, the movement was incredible. And it's really weird because I, I don't think I would do that normally. Uh, it's run such a thing as my water, never mind. Um, so, like a team that fast, uh, with that much displacement. Um, shall I, before we get into this actually, shall we start with the tease? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall yeah, we start with that. the tease? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So everybody, let me know if you're still in the chat, because uh, I'm having a little read now to see you. So I see Leo's talking. Let's see, where are we? There we go. We're all nice and a bit more cosy now. Um, Leo said, love the champion. Steve agrees. Tears will be my new favourite mini. He looks so badass. Oh, he's a, he's he's a badass. badass. He's a badass. What I will do is I'll get these easy for range, so then oh, if yeah. we want to show any later, Wicked. I can grab them without knocking the table over. So I'm going to share something with all of you on the chat at the minute, if you're ready. We've got uh, 46 people on YouTube, 18 on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining along, folks. Do you plan to complete the sequence of an attack in the corner of the board? I'm sure it will be in the rule book, but having it in the board is something like in 
battlecon. Do you, let me, tell me, sorry, read this again. Do you plan to display the complete sequence of attack? Oh, sorry, display. Okay, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. we will yeah. indeed. Um, it's something that's imperative to yeah. the competitive play and to people kind of work in combinations. Mm -hmm. We will very much do a timing structure that will indeed be in the rule book. Mm -hmm. uh, must win with- I think the suggestion was putting it on the side of the board. Like a, a timing breakdown. Oh, yes. He's, yeah. oh, it's yes, an interesting yeah. one. Yeah, he said in the corner of the board. I think we're more likely to do some kind of reference card mm -hmm. or kind of help thing like that. Um, I, I think the people that really get into the high level play will kind of learn it very quickly. I yeah. think it's, you know, we're right here on day four of the campaign. Mm -hmm. So people are sort of still getting the terms with it a little bit. And we're still drafting the rules and tweaking things here and there. Yeah. So I think it will become ingrained. But yes, we'll have it really clear. Um, on the board, I don't think so. You can tell that we're big on kind of keeping the board pretty. Uh, and having you know an attractive place to play. Um, yeah, the worry would be about putting it on the board um, is twofold. One, were we to go forward and realise by some miracle that we needed to change the order, which has happened a lot of CCGs, LCGs through yeah. the time, they want to change the order. It would semi-invalidate every board or prize yeah. board or alternate art board that we ever did. Yeah. Because it would have the wrong sequence in the corner. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So that, and that, that, that's brutal. If you had to say, hey, every single one of your boards is now needs to mm -hmm. be replaced, or you have to come and buy a new one, that would really not and be great. Again, because I come from a tournament background, the idea that if someone was new to a tournament and sat down to get someone who comes to the tournament, and they had that old board yeah. and tried to, not intentionally, but follow that old yeah. structure, and it messed up that person's yeah. first experience, be that would be awful. Yeah. Um, that seemed like a short game, was it a quick win? I mean, I think we played for a good like 50 minutes there, actually, if yeah, not yeah. a little bit longer. That it, was without the talking, it was a, it was a high scoring I, game. I mean, well, it was only what, like a five round game, yeah, yeah, five or six round game. Um, yeah, it was reasonably, reasonably big, um, and, and, and quick hitting because you scored two two points back to back and a knockout back to back because of my choice of play, to be mm -hmm. fair. Um, that was definitely on me, and, and I have no problem saying that. Um, it wasn't on the randomness of the play. I, I made calls to get more aggressive. Um, and yeah, I think so. I managed to get to four through three knockouts, one of each of my champions scoring a knockout. Two on lower line, one on a kept. Yeah, and then plus uh, one point from the destruction area. So it was five to four in the end with Stu's teams eking out that uh, final knockout. So it was really good. Um, are, you, are you guys going to be at Tabletop Live and Dragon Meat doing demos? Says Jason, we're definitely going to be at Tabletop Gaming Live. That is absolutely happening. Uh, Dragon Meat, uh, to be confirmed, nothing is yet currently planned for that one. No. Come and join me a bit closer. Give yeah, of course. I can put that as well. Look at this. Steve, Steve, uh, Brian and Steve are chatting about the four colour schemes for Aket. Yeah, I think there's definitely some love to, uh, for Aket. Um, we had a great suggestion the other day of the uh, three legendary Pokemon. Just absolutely adore that suggestion. Right, let's give you guys a little tease. Now, this is just a tease. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not Leo. I'm not going to give you everything. All I'm going to say is this weekend we're going to have some more updates. We're doing updates every day. We're doing challenges on the Facebook group, um, Facebook page with Sir Fancy Brawl and kind of just having regular things going on. So this is just a little bit of a, a teaser of things to come to give you an idea of the scale of things to come. Oof. Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, out of curiosity for the chat, what are you most, which mini are you most looking forward to paint? Interesting question, Steve, actually. I like that. Um, I must admit, painting is something that I kind of have a love and hate relationship with, but I'm actually really looking forward to uh, Corvash, I think. Yeah. I like. I just like the idea of painting a proper old school orc, like really old school, almost kind of Warcraft 3-esque, proper, proper orc, right? Oh, here we go. People, the, the uh, link has not been received. Bree <sighs> says, ooh. For me, it's Gwen. Larry says, nice. Gwen, because you love that cloak. That cloak. Love that cloak. Love that cloak. Um, Larry says, nice. Yeah, I want to see what you guys can pick out from this. I was very strategic in the cropping I did. I'm showing Stu for the first time, actually, just what I cropped here. Quite okay. strategically. Yeah. Because there's things going on here. There is. There's, there's a little... Yeah, there's little hints of stuff. Yeah, yeah, Shiny, sure. says Steve. Seemed long due to analysis paralysis. Yeah, yeah, no no doubt, Graham. I definitely know the chatter and, and distraction and kind of talking to you guys and Josh and Stu, obviously, uh, plus on <laughs> thinking time on top of that. And playing with brand new champions for the first game is something you need to keep in mind because when you play a champion for the first time, you're really learning them. Yeah. Once you get familiar with how a champion plays, your games do, do speed up a lot. Yeah. Um, in regards to putting text on the board, other companies have released stickers to embed board mistakes, if that's a problem. We don't really want to have to go down that route. Uh, you know, yeah, we're going to avoid it. Um, and again, like fun. it's... The neoprenes. I won't want to stick a uh, sticker on a neoprene no. mat. Surely not. No way. That's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> will the columns? Uh, will the columns have any associated abilities? Maybe something used for a color. Co uh, you could use a color coin for. 
Interesting. <laughs> Clearly, Stu didn't crop it as Darren's cut off. <laughs> So on point, Brian. So accurate. That is so, so it's true. so accurate. Yeah, actually, yeah, she is. She's cut right in half. I'm sorry about that. But is that hard for you to see? No, it's all right. No. She looks like she's about to shoot Kilgore in the back. I'm fine. She does look like she's about to shoot Kilgore in the back, actually, which is quite nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what she's doing. You obviously yet. planned that. I, yeah, I did. I told you. Um, so, yes, that's a little tease of something that we're going to have a little bit more in the coming days. Um, I'm curious to see what people, what people think. Do the statues rotate? We have double A batteries inside. Yeah, we right? stick. Yeah, they got and they just a turn around. Rotation and a vibration and a scent release yeah, to yeah. give the smell of vision. Um, creation. They taste like chocolate. It's creation symbol on the statue? Question mark. For sure. That's an interesting pick out by Sam. Yeah. Sam knows his stuff. He does. Well done. Um, sorry, I'm late. Says the Morgan. Where will we be able to read up on the lore once the game is released? I'll tell you right now that we're definitely planning on having some lore on the website. Yep. Well, mythicgames.net will have some lore where you can get in and dive into that. I think um, before the game even hits retail, there will be stuff in there for you to delve into. We've yep. already had some fan fiction. We have uh, started to get we written, have. which is really it's awesome. Really cool. uh, even before, it's probably more fanfic written publicly than what's been written for some of the champions now, Pu publicly. Publicly, anyway. yeah, yeah. Um, sure. And Bree says, I meant as a gameplay element. Uh, so, yeah, do statues rotate? Um, at the minute, direction facing is not something that is prevent, prevalent in the game. Um, essentially, champions can face all ways. Mm -hmm. And we wanted, that's, again, another thing that people don't realise is that the game is very, very streamlined, very, very straightforward and very, very clean. So you can have these amazing kind of turns of, can I unsolve you know, this puzzle? Can I, can I yeah. unsolve this puzzle that I'm, I'm presented with? Um, and the reason you can have such fun doing that is because of the, the streamlined nature. So um, the statues will be able to be faced in different ways, but mm -hmm. they'll not have a gameplay impact um, by doing so. That's correct, yeah. For sure. That's what answer there. Yeah. Uh, if the pillars have statues on top, maybe they should be two parts so they can animate. With more device batteries again? Uh, so transforming. Interesting. Cool. Um, the paint job on, by Sable Levine on Duggan is so incredible. I mean, they all are, but this will just make me drop my jaw in a second. Oh. Well, look, speaking <laughs> of Duggan, shall we have a bit of a chat on lore? How are you guys feeling? You want to talk? So, uh, do you know what? Do you want to talk some more lore? Do you want to play another game? Because I'm going to throw that option right there now. I yeah, for sure. I put lore right on the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. I mean, worst case scenario, we could have the screen face and that we can send yep. me back and forth. And Deacon, I'll, I'll answer very quickly. We've got a long way to go before a lot of stuff becomes official. You know, we're talking about the end of Q1, start of Q2 next year, where kind of retail arrives and backers get their, their pledges and we can look at organised play. So a lot more details will be confirmed in the months to come. But long story short is yes, we will have promo support. We will have participation prizes. We will have uh, friendly local game store events and we will have tournament events um, at the likes of conventions and such as well. Oh, here's a question for you. I'm going to throw this one to you, sir. So Eric says, okay, question. Both players are on four victory points. I have an AoE attack, and that will hit both my and my opponent's champions with enough damage to KO both. What happens then? Okay, so in that situation, your opponent would win. Why? Because uh, basically we, we, we're we all in on an AoE attacking yeah. and knocking out a champion of your own yeah. and, and one of theirs as well. Um, but not for the win, yep. basically. Um, so whenever you, the steps are in the, in the rule book, so that uh, if you, you, your opponent, or it will be rather than the timing windows once we've finalized them in the rule book, will be you check your opponent's champion, uh, your champions, then you check your opponents. Yep. So the timing window will fall that your champion goes down before theirs does. So they would win the game. There you go. So they would score their victory point needed for the win just before you just before yours, you which means the game will immediately end. Yep. Uh, before the fifth point is scored by you, uh, yes, because it's not to re it's to not reward people who are just um, needlessly kind of thrown away. Yeah, for um, sure. I mean, you could do it earlier on. You know, if you're in a position where doing a certain attack will score you two points, but it's only scores your opponent one, mm -hmm. but it's not the points needed for the win in either case. Or if it isn't two points for you and one for them, but yours wins, then that's also fine. So it's only when you have that instance you exactly mm -hmm. said, Eric, where it's simultaneous winning the person who's turn it is not the opponent will take it and again and it totally uh, depends on the the type of attack so mm, uh, yes, this is when important. it's with if it was an area attack Wayne for example has got a really interesting card grab, Wayne, grab Wayne's chin lightning there because I think it's a great okay. example of this chin lightning yeah. and fireball are both Either, really yeah, yeah, great so this, uh, yeah, because it is an interesting question, and I love that we're getting these questions because these yeah, are questions yeah, sure. that are not just like, hey, how does the board game work? It's like, hey, actually, I'm really thinking about how I can do awesome stuff here, yeah. and I want to know about these really fringe case situations, and we are considering them because we want them to come up. And so those uh, are chain lightning, 
and cool. So which one do I talk about first? I will do chain lightning because that's an easy explanation, and then fireball is the complex version of that. All right. So so chain lightning, uh, it's a strength three attack, and then if damage was dealt, deal two to a champion within two hits of the target. So um, in this instance, what would happen if you were attacking an enemy and you were the only Josh person? Josh is on Facebook chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, go home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so uh, if you were attacking an enemy and you, Gwen was the only person within two hexes, for example, and Shiri had four damage left and dealt, and the attack strength knocked out the opponent, mm -hmm. they would be knocked out on the, st on the step of resolve the attack damage yep. before the after the attack step. Because this is the strength of the attack. So that's resolved first. Before after that, the you then resolve the after attack. So in this situation, you would knock out the opponent's champion, score the fifth victory point, instantly win, so the game would be over, so you wouldn't do yep. the after the attack. Yep. Fireball has the uh, same trigger after the attack, although it doesn't need the damage mm -hmm. to be caused. Uh, deal two to each station champion. So if the three from the fireball defeated the opponent, mm -hmm. you would win the game. Yep. However, if the two from the adjacent mm -hmm. uh, took out one of yours and one of theirs, yep. you'd be back to the same timing window, yep. in which case your opponent would win the game. There you go. Nice and clear. Hopefully that answers your question. Eric, let us know if, if, if it doesn't. Um, Steve also says, something I've been curious about the rules, when something specific that it affects allies, does it, sorry, when something specifies that it affects allies, does it also affect the hero who uses it? No. No. If it says your champions, that's your wizard, all your champions. If it says allies, it's the allies of that champion, so the other champions. Looking for an example? Yep. Oh. Two examples, Again, focus, focus on me hardies. Yeah. The okay. oldest of old school. Uh, thanks, Eric. So here we have Focus, which is a card from Suzar. Oh, we haven't showed off Dogrin's cards yet. Yeah, well, I've Guys, got them to the side. Do you want to see Dogrin's full art side. cards? Dog, did you, Dogrin's full art cards are here, just saying. So Focus is your champion's gain. Uh, plus one damage, plus one strength, sorry, and plus one movement to the end of the turn. So it's mm -hmm. your champions. But in this case, it's your allies. So this is allies of Goldar gain plus one strength and plus one movement to the end of the turn. On reading that, we might have to maybe tweak the wording that says your allies, because it's obviously it's Goldar's allies, but it's the allies of Goldar. It's, it's, it's something we're working on. Allies is basically anyone as well as, mm -hmm. whereas your champions is absolutely everyone. Um, we may need to clarify yeah. that potentially. I mean, a focus. Bit, I, it would be f uh, focus that would be clarified probably to champions. Get, oh no, your your allies would refer to him. Your champions refers to your whole board state. Yeah, we'll have to find the word. Yeah, the, the word "your" there is is referring to two yeah. different things. So that's, mm -hmm. something, that's actually a really good call out that we might uh, work on. Yeah, yeah for Potential sure. Potential art books are really nice question as well because with most big Kickstarters we do, where we mm -hmm. have loads of stretch goals and bigger long campaigns, and um, we usually have things like the art books, we have things like lots of other content, lots of different expansions and, and an ever-growing thing. But we have had quite a few questions for the art book for Super Fancy Brawl, so uh, we are listening. We're thinking um, we about what we can do to support that yeah. kind of need. Can I grab Suzar's cards first? Yes. And then, uh, and then we'll look at Dogrin's. So, so, yeah, well, so I'll show back. some of the full art that you've already seen. We are still using prototype cards, so the final versions will be full art. You won't have three, quite four, this, this thick black border. Oh, you've got one in your hand. Yeah. And I we're, like we're missing one of his cards. <laughs> and we're going to also tweak the layout of the cards a little bit. We're also going to work a little bit on the iconography. So the likes of the attacks and skills and reactions are all very clear. And you can mm -hmm. see that just you know at, at a moment. For sure. Um, we've got things we want to improve. And we've had a lot of feedback from people at conventions and people who have played the game. We're listening, is all I'll say. Always. Um, so have a look at some of the full art. But remember, these are not going to be just exactly the final cards that you'll see. Um, so, shall we do some lore? We'll do it. Yeah, we could talk about Suzao when we, when we go through that. So, as I said, so Suzao um, is our Targaryen warrior, and as I said, so he was a farmer, and he had his wife and his children. And one day, the the Lokai came, and the Lokai uh, are an uh, insectoid-based race. Is all we'll say on them, uh, as they're not in the, the game, but they certainly are explored later. Um, and what happened was the Targaryens went to war. They had been to war numerous times, but the insectoid race was uh, the loci are, as the name suggests, almost locust-like. They attack the swarms, the hordes were just too great. Uh, and the farmland on the outskirts of the Targaryen Empire was destroyed. Um, and it's, it's really interesting because the, the wish of Suzao, if he wins, is to be reunited with his family again Aww. and go back to the farm. Uh, what uh, isn't sorry, necessarily... When you, say, when, you say, when you say reunited with your family, with his family, are they still alive? They are not. They are not. So he wants his. He wants to go back to a time before, where before he was this great swordsman. Before he was 
this you know, legendary warrior without peer. This before he was the Jade Claw. Before he was the Jade Claw. Before he was, he was the Emperor's champion, the favorited champion of, of so, all the Tiger so Empire. So his wish is actually to go back and no longer be he a does, champion. He doesn't to want to be, be a anymore. farmer with yeah. his family. He just wants his family and his family Who back. were killed by the Lokai. By the Lokai, yeah. Um, that's that's really like yeah yeah that's, for sure it's such a, a noble and sort of mm -hmm. like almost humbling and sad wish compared to some of the wishes like Goldar who's like wants to be the be richest. rich yeah right that's just Goldar's <laughs> thing um, humbling it's kind of sad mm -hmm. Steve actually said um, yes I, I, it is a bit hard to tell the difference between the attack and skill and the current iconography it made them a bit of a challenge yes we're absolutely we hear you Steve we are on it we for will sure. absolutely work on that so oh, that's Suzo is a bit of a darner. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, at, at the same time, he, he is and he isn't because he is this great champion of, yeah. of you know, his, his family were killed and I don't know, a lot of people would have just rolled over and took that. And instead what he did was he went to serve the Empire yeah. and became the greatest sword of all time and then that wasn't enough. The so then he became the, the, uh, Targaryen Empire. Targaryen Empire. Not the Imperial Empire. Not the Imperial Empire, no. <laughs> Otherwise you wouldn't hear anything. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, slow burn in that one. Slow burn, yeah. yeah. Burn, <laughs> So he, you know, it wasn't good enough to just join. It wasn't good enough to be good. It was only good enough to be the best. So every, sensei after sensei, trainer after trainer, combat after combat, he kept getting better and better to uh, honor his empire. It yep. wasn't a mission of revenge. Mm -hmm. it, it was never a mission of revenge. It was doing the best that he could do now. Yep. So he ah. didn't have a purpose anymore. So he would find purpose yep. in fighting for the, the Targaryens and became the Emperor's Champion. Pass me Sue, sorry, please, and Dogrun, if you can reach them there. They're, they're minis. I'm going to show. So Jason Freud, who is in the chat from Painting Nights. Incredible, did, Jason. Yeah, Incredible did, work. Did our beautiful minis that we have here. So I wanna, we had a, a little combination there mentioned by Brian. He says, Suzai, Dogrun, and a cat for maximum honor. For sure. Those three are quite the noble. They are. Brave, humble, defending <laughs> their civilization, rising it from the ashes. Yeah, this team. Very and they much. have their nicknames is our Tigra. <laughs> totally good with that. Totally yep, yep. good with that. We can give that one up. Yep, sure. um, and Rodney was asking, will the lore be included in the end product or will you need to look it up on the web? So we definitely will have it on the website. We will also probably have a little bits of lore, a little bit of history um, with, with some of the game as well whenever you pick it up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's something we're, we're definitely looking at. Um, even if it's little tidbits and stuff in, in the in the I say in the rule book, I think we could probably try to find place for some of this stuff. Yes. Um, I don't know necessarily if it'd be on the, the new champions, yeah. but we'll have to see. So speaking of Dogrin, we have some exciting new stuff to show for Dogrin. I am so... Now, this is the first time, you guys are going to listen really good. This is the first time on all videos that you've probably ever seen, on sort of for all, that you're going to hear Dogrun's homeland, given the correct name. Because <laughs> all this time... I've I kind of want to say it wrong. Just, just, to, just to confuse me just to mess even with you. further. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, here is Dogrun. Yeah. Pop him off to the side for a second. Pop him into the chat so there. Here's the man himself. Dogrun the dwarf himself, even. Yeah, the dwarf himself. Warden of the North. Uh, the protector of Dundorin. And what is his dealio? So, uh, the Warden of the North is the title. He is not the first Warden of the North. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the title given to the Protector of the Mountains, the one who will protect Dundorin and the homelands and the mountain range around it, the Frostfell Mountains, from all invaders, all threats to their world and their way of life. And as the Warden of the North, uh, when he takes up Thanzod, that hammer, uh, that creates a connection with him and the mountains, oh. hence the frost. He's, whilst he wields Thanzod and whilst Dundorin stands, Duggering cannot like die of old age or perish or anything like that. He can be killed mm -hmm. or could have been in the past, uh, but for a thousand years he was the most famous and successful warden of the north. He protected Dundoran against threat upon threat, uh, against enemy invasions, dragons, monsters. He was this stalwart dwarf who would never give ground, uh, would lead. Uh, it was never never necessarily alone. The warden could, like, as it says ironically yeah. on the card there, he could. You know, it said that the warden. Uh, so it said that the warden could inspire his allies to charge into the abyss itself. Yeah. So he would lead as the the champion of Dundoran. He would, you know, take on that mantle of whilst I'm here, the, we will stand. When Zan Zod falls, so too does its enemies. And something a little thing people may not have noticed because we haven't shown all the cards in, in full detail just yet, but the campaign's still early. Um, the attacks have quotes by the characters, the champions themselves. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Is that something you're continuing throughout all of the yep. champions? Yep. Every every attack is a quote by the champion. And then the skills and reactions are more little bits of lore. Of history. lore history yep. about them, yeah. 
yeah, this, this art, we have a range of different artists, and Johannes Helgensen is the primary one, but we also have Bayard Wu, we also have um, Stefan Gantes, uh, he's working on it, and we also bring a couple more champions on, because as you can, uh, a couple more sort of artists, sorry, champion champions, artists. Champion artists. Um, they are cha they're my champions. Yeah. Every time I say, oh, we've got this, what do you think? Yeah. Some of the, 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 yeah. the stuff coming up. Yeah, uh, on a few live streams in the future, I've sorted some yeah. things out today that you guys will get to see some really gorgeous new cards and this, soon. Because a lot of the champions are very, very different. They have different kind of backgrounds. So some of the grittier champions, like mm -hmm. so Wrath, Kildor, Kil, Kildor? Kildor. Kilgore, and Kildor's like, long lost twin. <laughs> Kildor. Uh, Kildor. <laughs> Kildor. That's really funny. No, you funny. kill me now. Yeah, Stop no, it. Really I don't know why that's tickled me. It's something about Kildor is really Kildor. Popular, wasn't it? Kildor. Kildor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Forgot, just different there. artists for different champions for to sure. help embody um, really what they are and what they look like. You're going to see a bit of that as we continue to develop mm -hmm. the art. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, here we go. We've got Shield Slam. For the strength of my people is endless for... Dundoran. Dundoran. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know why it's so hard either, <laughs> Stu. But my mouth just doesn't move to the shape. And yes, Steve, Than Zud is indeed the name of, of the, the hammer. hammer. Yeah. Mighty blue, Dugrin's rain of blues fell like an avalanche, unstoppable and unrelenting. So, uh, Thagor was asked, what does Dugrin 2 at the bottom of the left mean? It's the card number. Yeah. Yeah. So, they'll have Dugrin 1, Dugrin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, the reason for that is, one, it makes it easier to identify the cards. So, if there's something wrong or someone needs a replacement, yeah. we'll be able to do drop down boxes like yeah. Dugrin 2. You can figure out. You don't need to memorize. Uh, so, if you lose a card and you're like, okay, what was Dugrin's fifth card again? You don't need to do that. It's Doug Green 5. Yeah. And then we can sort that out. Get your Doug Green 5. Yeah. Here we've got Blizzard. Uh, when I call the heavens themselves, answer me. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So he's, he's not just this combat fighter. It's not just this, this melee beast. He can literally call upon the power of the mountains themselves. Hence the, the, the nature of mountains and the way that they, they rise and pierce yeah. the heavens. These, these frost abilities, these abilities to channel the, the very frozen. The heavens. I love that. And finally, Hold Ground, probably his most notable. Yeah, really it's early. someone uh, asked in the Discord today, do we design champions and give them a power card? And I said, that we don't design them with a power card. Um, we design them to work with the weaknesses and the strengths yep. that we want the champion to do. But we do often think of a signature card. Yep. So something when we're creating, we go, okay, so what skill or what reaction or what attack really makes you go, okay, I get what this guy's well, about. This is the thing, right? Because whenever you sit down opposite the champions, you look at what your team's got. Mm -hmm. And we instinctively, because of the design, the way the game has yeah. been done, you do think about what the threat is. So I see Aket, mm -hmm. and I think Aket has the ability to fly across the arena and lift either one of my champions or one of their champions mm -hmm. with them. And I'm looking to see for that moment when I need to be wary of it. Yeah. With, with Dugrin, it's whole ground. Yeah. I'm absolutely thinking about that moment that I'm like, is he in a position now that I'm not going to be able to budge him? And is that going to affect the gameplay? Um, I'm trying to think what other ones. Like Corvash is his chop, right? It's just it's yeah. Kilgore's his appetite for destruction. destruction. Suzai's his revenge. Uh, well, I also love points. Way and Chain Lightning. Fireball, uh, Fireball too. as like, well. So there's, there's this really Double just jump and mighty jump for kal -El. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, for sure. Every every champion has you know a range of different cards mm -hmm. that are very specific to them, but there are some that you'll remember because something terrible happens yeah. to you, or because they subvert a really good plan that you had, and that's really been done purposely. As you exactly, say. like I said, a cat's a great example because you know everyone thinks a cat take flight. Yep. He has swoop. It's a swoop yep. three and an aerial attack at the end of it, and two strength on that. It's a yep. really strong card, but take flight is the one that people will think of. So that's his. It's, I was saying his signature card. Yep. That's, so that gets across the fact that he can fly, and then these other cards reinforce that card. Love it. Um, so it's not necessarily for the power of it. E yeah. Equal out, I would say, um, the healing abilities, potentially, I would say, actually, Clairvoyance on Lorelei, the draw one, plan five, is probably her signature card, that ability to go, okay, well, not only am I going to know what I'm doing now, I'm going to know what I'm doing next turn, as long as I can balance those yeah. six cards in our, or five cards in my hand, I can plan that out. Um, William had a question, so could you please give us an example of an attack that has pull that is reacted to with a card that causes fear, and how the pull would work after the fear is caused? I had a debate on Tabletopia. First of all, William, thank you so much for playing uh, Tabletopia. Would for you mind sure. setting? Do you want to set up the board there? Stu? Absolutely. I'll do, I'll do a bit of chatting while you're getting. I think what uh, 
fear. Maybe it's good. Yeah, it's Goldar's Goldar. a good one. Yeah, so, so William, basically there's a, a key point that hopefully we'll, uh, Stu's going to set one up here and then we'll chat a bit around it. Um, pulling and pushing um, will only work, specifically pull and push, when you're pushing something directly away or pulling something directly towards. If you are caused between the point you attack and then you're after the attack happening by a reaction to move, and you mm. no longer share uh, a row oh, or a column. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you no longer share a row or a column of hexes with your target, that push and pull essentially cannot happen uh, because you're no longer pushing them directly toward or directly away. And um, we're going to set up the board a little bit here, and you can kind of see one um, kind of in action. Do you want this cleaned up a bit more, just so it's clear? Who do you want on the board? It's just these two are really. Just these show. two. All right, okay. The rest. We could do a, a detailed do it, one, done. yeah. The oh, well, simple explanation of how that interaction I think keep works. It, keep it simple because sure. it's. Uh, so here we go. Okay. So we've got a board. So here we have. We've cleaned up everything, got out of the way a little bit. You've got Goldar in the middle. Let's put Goldar here. We'll put Suzar there. So Goldar, Suzar facing off of yeah. each other. Right? Okay. Direct, directly on top of each other. Uh -huh. uh, well, I'll move them back a little bit to make it even more. Even more of an option because this will talk a bit about this, fear. Yeah, too, this, will, this is a really good. That's what okay, I'm so here we've got a card. So let's say, for example, a blue core for Suzar is played, and Suzar plays challenge. The challenge is an attack. First of all, again, we're going to work on these icons, guys, to make them clear. But this is an attack, which means that it can be reacted to. So that's the first thing. Make sure that it's an attack because if it's a skill, you cannot react to it. So in this case, I'll just show the board. Suzar will be able to move one and then a straight line attack, a uh, direct attack of up to two doing two strength attacks. So in this case, it would be followed by an after the attack pull. Now, he would do the movement first, isn't that right? So if he wanted to, yeah, he can move to there. Or I guess we can move in whatever way works. However, yeah. Yeah. Um, so then we'd have the opportunity to play the reaction. Yeah. So what we'd have is Goldar, or the wizard, or the, you know, the player who's actually playing with Goldar, could then spend his red core to give a plus one to defense. And then also um, after the attack, the attacker will fear two. Now, very important, there's two after the attack triggers now. We have an after the attack pull of one on the initial attack, and we have an after the attack uh, fear two, which is on the reaction. Yeah. The reaction will happen first. first. We will resolve the attack, though. Um, so strength of two would be compared against a normal Goldar defense of one, but now it would be a Goldar defense of two. two. So it's 2v2, two two, so no damage would be dealt. Then we would do after the attack of Goldar. So it's a fear of two. So what are the options for Suzai? Okay, so Suzai... Um Fear isn't a voluntary movement. Usually when you dash or you move or you swoop or you jump. Mm -hmm. It's a voluntary movement, you can move anything up to that value. Yep. In this situation, fear isn't voluntary, so you can't move one. Uh, you have to move two. The other restriction on fear is you have to move further away from the target. Yeah. Um, you have to finish further away. Yeah. So in this case, the f and fear is a dash yep. in, its, in essence, so it has to dash two. So you could go one, two. Yeah. You could go one, two. Um, he can't move to here because he moves closer, even though he, he ends further away. Yep. Because this is this is a, he has to move away yep. and end further. So despite this being further away, he would move. To, he wouldn't move further yep. away, so he can't move there. Similar to here. So despite there being methods that you could usually move, his only options are up there or there. Yep. So in this case, we're moving to here. So now, after that fear two is resolved, we would then go back to the initial attack and resolve its after attack, which again is a pull of one. So in this case, where you've moved directly back, one. Yep, very straightforward, very easy. But in the other case, if Suzar had moved, you put Goldar back and put Suzar back. If if the fear that yeah, one more forward. Yeah. So if Suzar had been feared and gone the other direction, Suzar no longer shares a row or a column of, he of hexes with Goldar. And now that pull of one does nothing. It essentially fizzles. It, there is no pull or push. He's no longer in a position to push Goldar directly away or to pull Goldar directly towards. So nothing will happen. Which means as both an attacker using fear to react, or sorry, a, a defender using fear to react, or as an attacker potentially being react to, or indeed planning just what you want to do, you have to play around this being a potential thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody went super quiet in chat there, which means we were either engrossing or the internet went down. <laughs> 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 but I'm very much hoping. Let us know if that makes sense, guys. So every stop of fear has to be further away, he said. Is that, that, is that correct? Is it currently something yeah, we're, we're tweaking a little bit? Yeah, towards and away is yeah. uh, defined that it has to be 
further away. And fear, yeah, you can't end closer, so you, um, you have to keep moving. Yeah, so I think Bree, uh, through different videos, we have tested uh, or we have played a few oh, different rule been sets. Tweaked. Fear is one of those things that has actually been um, tested quite a bit, yeah. actually. Because um, originally, fear was just you had to dash two. Yeah. Um, but then that created really awkward situation. We could see the broad very briefly, if you don't mind us. Oh, yeah. And so I'm going to have another follow-up question for that. Gore, we'll get to you in a second, buddy. Where someone would attack with just a normal ranged attack that didn't necessarily have a pull, and they would play the fear action and use it to uh, fear two to try and move away. And then in reaction, Suzanne would move to here. Yeah. And that's two free movement towards the target, yeah. which doesn't feel right. Yeah. You've it's played not your the, not core. Not the way it is anymore. Very You'd spo spent your core and your reaction. It didn't feel right. So it was a case of, okay, well, you can't end closer. Can I have a kit? Absolutely. Oh, okay, so I can have Suzar again. Suzar, yeah. So Suzar is over here. Um, and can I actually have, can you give me a, a lifesteal card as well? Ooh, Please. lifesteal, you say? Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about keywords. Okay, cool. Marry yourself. By, 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 by saying we, I mean you're going to talk about I'm keywords. I'm going to talk about keywords, cool. But I'm going to set you up to talk about them. Oh, brilliant. Right, because it's important. Ah, good card to choose, actually. So. Clear explanation, thank you very much, Joy. Nice to know you. the details worked out already. I did mm -hmm. not realize the fear mechanic was like that, but it is cool. Thank you very much. Oh my God, Larry. Larry just said something that I'm gonna have to come back to in a moment because I'm ready to talk to Thagor for a second, answer his question. Is any updates to how will work? It seems kind of weak right now. <laughs> Larry, um, I'll, I, that last game, I failed to use poison well, it's fair to say. Poison is incredibly yeah. strong to the point where I've been trying to encourage the guys to nerf it. Nerf poison? <laughs> I've been trying to encourage the like nerfing. To the point where um, he walks in in the morning and goes, you right, guys? How are you going? Yeah. Nerf Devon and poison yet? No ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bree, yes, to finalize that talk about fear and away, yes, we need to make sure that we're clear on cannot end closer. It's slightly different from each step must be yeah. further. Currently, so it's kind of in two places in the book at once is the problem yeah. uh, because we've clarified towards and away yeah. in the core rules and then fear talks about ending further away yeah. we really need to bring them together on the connect yeah so yeah leave that one with us because i think we know we, we actually just need to make sure we got the feeling right on that yeah for sure um so let's go back to thagor so does fear this is his question so this mm -hmm. is why i got these for me does fear cancel the second attack of double no now why though so let's if i bring the card up okay so how again this is the timing structure and again we're getting really nice timing structure mm -hmm. questions here so okay so this is really, I feel really bad by the way, because Josh just left, bring Stu in to talk about lore. <laughs> oh, you guys have got rules questions? I love it. I Which is Josh. <laughs> can you inflict damage with force? Easy answer, Arsenic, yes you can. You can, you force people into walls of champions and it'll do damage. Or no, the can't. traps and do more damage. No, you can't. What? Never been able to do that. What? Never. Force is a movement, that's Arsenic, like completely ignore what I just said. Yep. What? That, you can force people through people. If you couldn't do that, you'd be doing damage with it, right? What? You've always been able to, I mean, um, you used Sulka, oh, did you show Josh used Sulka yesterday to force yeah. three people? Uh, you would be doing yeah. damage doing that. Force does not, you can't throw people into things. We may affect it so it can affect uh, statues. We don't, it, it's a tricky one. It's already so powerful. You can see even I'm not keeping up to date with all the development changes that are going on. So sorry about that one, way. I was like, shh. Okay, right. And uh, force is already so powerful because it doesn't How's require that on our five games on the It just hasn't. It hasn't. I just don't think it was. There's so much about this game. Um, force is already, well, it's because really you've not really played with um, Sulka or anything. Yeah, right. So the only Sulka force you've Sulka. really come across is on uh, Kilgore. Sul Sulka, Marius, yes, Kilgore, yep. Uh, Kilgore's got a force of one. Most yep. people have a force of one. Sulka's, Sulka's the outliner. So force of one is almost always used to move someone out of an area, yep. in which case you wouldn't use it to hit someone anyway yep. in, in how you thought yep. it worked because then they'd still be in the area. Yep. Or to throw them on a trap. Equally, there's no one going to be on that trap. Yep. So... <laughs> Uh, it, that just would never come up. Interesting. Um, but force is already really powerful because it doesn't require, like the fear example there, if you're out of the hex row, it doesn't work. Force yeah. doesn't care about the hex row. Force is, you're going to move. Yeah. That's it. So just, oh, that's actually, this is good, right? I'm getting a bit of insight here. So what we're saying is if Suzai was to force Goldar, even yeah. if he had been feared to here, Goldar would still get forced. Yeah, because there's no hex row requirements for push and pull yep. need directly towards directly yep. away. Force doesn't care about directly forwards directly away. Yep. Force can move him to here, to here, here, here. He can move any of these squares around him. So if there was a trap here or a trap here, you can walk onto those straight away. So uh, equally, because it can move through people, uh, allies, it's actually really powerful because in situations we set up in our game, when I was placing my people in this kind of situation, so you couldn't yep. push them, yep. you could have gone force yep. and moved them straight through your own guy, straight out of the zone so I couldn't contest. Um, so Why you didn't you pick Sulka for me? Why? <laughs> uh, so that allows you to swing people yeah. through things that would usually get in that way. 
So force is already really strong. Do we need to cause damage as well? I, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah. But I don't think so either. Yeah. Well, I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> to to be honest, I really don't think so. Uh, but as you said, everything's in development. Yeah. Everything. If we make more characters yeah. with force, then that's something we have to look yeah. to. As it is, I think it's fine. Celia Steve, by the way, and I absolutely love the fact that he said, sadly, I must go great episode. <laughs> that means we now need to do an episode. Episodic. Yeah. Yep, for sure. Every Friday, we'll just be here forever. Every Friday? I was like three times a weekly. Like, that's what I was thinking. Uh, good luck with the rest you of the You don't have a wife and kids, right? I don't have a wife or kids. I went for me. You have no that loves you as oh. the community, and not even they love you. They love you. You are Leo. adored. <laughs> You are adored. Hang on now, Leo is super adored. You yeah. are relatively adored. Relative, relative, comparatively comparatively adored. Comparatively to Leo. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, you can still force onto a trap hex. For sure. Um, so, any, uh, hold on. Back to this for a second. Okay, back, okay. Back to Thagor's question. Sorry, Thagor. I hope you're still, hope you're still with us. So, does fear interrupt double? It does not. Right. Why? Because double isn't a keyword that resolves after the attack it's just a it's so part this, of this the is attack not, step yeah. this is before the attack yeah then you have your attack yep this is part of, of this yes correct yep yeah. yeah. so um fear takes place after you do the attack well it does, it does in the current cards yeah yeah so after, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so until after. we get a, until we get a pre-attack fear pre-attack oh fear. well that would work because yeah. then you wouldn't get the attack because you wouldn't be adjacent to the target if it was a ranged yeah, attack, range attack then you could move and if you stayed in range the double would still kick in so um, <laughs> oh, wrong. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So ho hopefully, Thagor, if that answers your question, please let us know. So there's a couple of keywords that sit in that bubble at the moment. So it's part of the attack. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> See, I set you up, bro. You did set me up. So life steal is one, uh, double is one, and poison is yeah. the other one. Life steal is most fun with our favorite Targaryen, right? This guy. Yep. Because the reflection damage of revenge is dealt after the attack. After the attack, and life steal is part of the attack step. Life steal happens before the attack, meaning if I was to hit somebody with Ravenous Bite for a strength three attack, dealing three damage, but they also played revenge on me, mm -hmm. I would take three damage back after I've life stealed, so I wouldn't gain that damage yeah, back. So if yet. you were fully healed, you couldn't use life steal to soak that revenge yep. damage. You would resolve life steal and then take the three damage from revenge. Thanks, Baz, by the way. And I know you have to say that because you've got as in your name. <laughs> <laughs> is that the rules, is it? That's the rules. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah, right. That's really um, cool. The difference between poison and double. Oh, man, this is just good. This is so, just I'm learning stuff. Mechanically. Give me, give me, give me, give me. None. Give me rat. Mechanically. Mechanically. Mechanically, yes. Yes, but no. Like, so, end result rather than mechanically. Shall I, will I open the rule book and just actually quote it word for word? That and could then be great, we'll, and then because we'll, we'll explain why it is word for word. This is, I feel Josh is sitting at home now going, why, why are they talking about yeah, rules all the yeah. time? They were going to do lore. Right. Some guys arrived. They had a fight. It was great. There's your so, load of. Uh, what do you, anything in particular here? We need someone. I get someone's life card. I don't know. So. Someone with one defense, right? Give me someone. With, give me gold out there. Oh, our cat. Yeah, perfect. Right. Everyone bloody loves our cat. Look, man. I love cat. Everyone loves our cat. Cat's right? great. So after yeah. seeing me with him today, even more people love I, I well, no, I said on what stream number one. That I, I kept was my favorite character. Yeah, sure. And I still don't know if that's true. I but, keep giving uh, you grief over it. I know you do, but I, I I've stopped now because I it, fall in and out of love with a cat so mm -hmm. much. For sure. Um, an Articuno a cat though might make me love a cat just, 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 just push him over the hill. Just though, enough. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm using the data on my mobile to try and load this PDF. Oh, geez, I what think, are you doing? Which, is, which I think is a per decision. That was a poor. Surely you can get the internet back for this step. Uh, right? Probably not. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, okay, so Thag Thagos is saying, what's the difference between double and poison? So it's an attack three against shield would do four damage in both situations. <laughs> but it's different how it deals that damage. Yeah. Um, and it's different how you modify it as well. Hello, David. I love Mythic Games. David loves we all love you too. of us. We love you too. I don't know if my wife judges, but she wouldn't care. Uh, super fancy brawl sitcom. Everybody loves our cat. That's yeah, for sure. The name of our show. Yeah, everybody loves our cat. That's the Friday night show name. Now, I'm happy it? with that because it was going to be Everyone Loves Leo up until you said that. So now it's going to be Everyone Loves everyone a Cat. Everyone Loves a Cat. Yeah. 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 Right. So, right. So I was giving a specific example, but let's talk it through a little bit. Unfortunately, my phone internet is not giving me access. Oh, no. We're getting it. Oh, here we go. Right. It's above tornado rules. We're, it's above the tornado rules? Yeah, 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 for sure. Good man. There he goes here. 
Yeah. So I'll read it. I'll read it perfectly. So we have uh, like, uh, no, we have poison. Poison, and then lost your books. Yeah. Alphabetical. So during the resolve attack damage step of this attack, double the current attack damage. Okay. Double is during the attack the damage resolve attack damage step of this attack. Resolve the attack damage twice. Right. You going to take this one? Okay. Right. So. As like they were correctly said, the end result is going to be very, very similar. So in this situation in double, you'd check if you have range. It'd be a strength of two. Let's assume the guy has one armor That's because it's a kept. Okay. So one damage we'll get through, and then we'd resolve that entire sequence again. Yeah. So another one damage we get through, a kept would have took two damage. Yeah. Now if Wrath was leveled up, let's say he had yeah. so poison. Uh, as an aside, if it was just a poison attack and it wasn't double, yeah, so then let's, let's hide, hide the keyword double for yep. a second. Then the attack would be a strength of two. One of it would get through, and then that would be doubled to two, yep. which would still be two damage to a cat. So you're getting one attack doubled to two, or two separate attacks of one and one. Yeah. Now, the important thing is at the very top of the keyword section of the rule book, it says you cannot combine the same keyword. So you cannot poison poison, you cannot double double. You can entirely poison double. Which means what you can do in this situation <laughs> is this strength of two is it compared against a cat's defense of one. One damage gets through, which is then doubled because of poison to inflict two damage. This is then resolved again, which would mean that he takes another two damage and the cat suffered four damage. Now in the terrifying situation where that was Su Zhao or, you know, heaven forbid, Guayan in that situation. Someone without any defense. Uh, Guayan would take two. Uh, doubled Double. with poison for four, twice, and then keel over unconscious. So, so the main thing to kind of point out there is that there are two separate keywords. keywords. That's the key thing, most of all, which means they can be linked together to cause really interesting effects, um, and that's very purposefully done. Yeah. Uh, to allow for some really interesting synergies and also to put yourself into some situations where planning a card ahead, where prepping um, with, with Wrath himself to, to ready up poison attacks and that can be really, really interesting. But you'll notice, uh, have you got Wrath's two blue cards there? Yes, yeah, it's entirely we're, intentional. We're also very mean. We're also well, very mean. Because we, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. This <laughs> is not mean, we're just not insane. Here we've got the two blue cards, of course, for Wrath, which at the moment there's no way to play both of these on the same turn at the moment. At One the moment. of them says Wrath's next attack gains poison, and then his attack says double. He can't do it to himself unless he's leveled up. But what he can do is give his next attack poison, and then you sneak attack, which is... Reactions can't be played, and then someone inevitably falls down unconscious again. Yeah, this is a brutal combo. Yeah. This combo is, is half time. Especially because the Nightshade, uh, con conversely to the ones that were seen previously, yeah. Nightshade didn't draw you two or plan you one. Yeah. So now you've got a much stronger chance of seeing the Wrath card that you want to see to make that happen. Oh, yes, draw two now. Yeah, yeah draw two. So he gets more chance of seeing those cards. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And then you take one of those cards that isn't the Attack Wrath yeah. card, put it back on top of that, get yeah. later. Does that answer your question, Thagor? Please let us know. It's, it's good because obviously you're asking a very specific question. Because um, you were exactly right. I mean, you are. They both have the same result, yes. but they have different math, which is very important. Yep. Uh, very important indeed. Um, I'll wait and see, hopefully. So, uh, Arsenic asked the question Could you explain a Ket's card tech flight? Absolutely. Do you want to set up the board a little bit and I'll get a Ket on? Yeah, for sure. Put, but let's say, for example, we'll put an ally on the board and an enemy on the board. Here, let's give you a different We'll say Nevermore is the enemy. Give them a different color. There okay, you go. Cool. So the grey, the grey, Nevermore is our playing the role of the enemy, whereas the two coloured champions who are painted in there are the uh, ones. Let's uh, go with. Well, it's going to be quite an interesting one. If we go here, here, and thanks, Thagor. Eddie, I will answer your question momentarily. Let's so go there. Set up. So what is Tech Flight? Arsenic asked okay. about. So this is a skill from a cat that uses a blue manipulation core. It says Swoop Force. What is Swoop? First of all, Swoop is a straight line movement that is zero to four, because of course it's numbered, which means you can do zero to up to the max number. That moves in a straight line on the board and that will ignore champions, ignore traps, and ignore statues uh, until the place where you land. So of course the place you land must be empty. If it has a trap on it, it will not ignore it when you land there. You will trigger the trap, and um, just as part of the movement. And then the card says, then place the first champion swoop through adjacent to a cat. 
and it says first champion, doesn't say first ally, first ally champion, first friendly champion, doesn't say first enemy champion, it does say first champion. Yeah. So all champions. So in this situation, if a cat was here and decided to use swoop, he would swoop four. One, two, three, four. And behind the enemy, and the first person he swept through was Goldor, who's on his own team, he would then be able to be placed adjacent, so he could be placed here, or he could be placed here. Let's place it here, for example. And then Goldar would be able to play an attack that could potentially push the enemy away from the deployment yep. zone. Uh, he could just be wanted to play an attack in general. Mm -hmm. He could be trying to get back into his own deployment zone to stop anyone contesting the deployment yep. zone. Um, now, conversely, if we leave Goldar where we found him, but keep a cat over here and we play the card, mm -hmm. a cat would go one, two, three, four, and would place Nevermore adjacent to him. So in this case, you could place him here, 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 or here. So we could place him over here uh, to allow for an attack that would allow uh, in fact let's place him here yep. and then we could play a push attack with Goldar and knock him into the wall for some extra damage there uh, or again we could be moving him further away from the nuclear zone yeah. because we're trying to control both zones yep hope that answers your question let us know Arsenic if that, if that resolved the tech flight card for you um, Eddie Har asks how do you deploy in a four player game so if anyone that doesn't know the four player version of Super Fantasy Brawl has two players on each team and each team first of all sorry each player in each team brings two champions each instead of three so what you end up with is a 4v4 brawl For sure. really really awesome which means you play with just a 12 card deck instead of 18 because each champion on your, on your couldn't do your control will give you six six cards towards your deck so you'll have 12 cards and you'll only draw four per turn instead of five. So your choices are slightly restricted. And the setup is, is very, very similar. Mm -hmm. um, it really is just, um, you take alternate placements between, you can keep me from, keep yeah. me from right here, but so you have team A and team B. So the first player on team A will deploy, second team uh, on, on team, uh, sorry, team B, first player on team B will deploy, second player on team A, and then second player on team B. Correct. Okay, there you go. Um, and Rodney says, it's a grab and drag move then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Should have said that. That would have been wrong, quick. Dragon move. Dragon move. Uh, Thycor says, talking Rather about- Rather than dragon move, which is, it sounds like too fast. Dragon move. Uh, <laughs> I want a dragon move. Uh, we have Thygor saying, um, about doing episodic content, doing a community update every two weeks or something that would be awesome for a live competitive game like this one, kind of like Ubisoft. Thanks, Thygor, it's a really, really great idea. Um, sure. For anyone that doesn't know, if you've never backed one of our Kickstarters before, every Wednesday we do an update on Kickstarter that's available to anybody, whether you're a backer or not. You can see we had over 100 on Son Key and now, mm -hmm. over 170, I think, on Joan of Arc now. Right Busters is catching up as well because we do updates every single week, no matter what's happening, whether we're at shipping, uh, factory production, uh, finalizing design, prototyping, no matter what stage we're at, you'll get regular updates from us. Um, now we're essentially going to be on There has to be a point where we think of putting these together. Yeah, right, right? this is the thing. Because this is four what's it, Wednesdays yeah, a week and the developers are writing these. Yeah, that's it. We're, <laughs> we're looking basically at the fact that we'll have four games kind of concurrently kind of being updated and we want to always keep people informed of what's happening. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at ways to kind of release content on a more regular basis. Uh, on a regular basis, that will also be useful for people to get the information they want and, and be engaged with whatever game systems of ours that we like because um, Super Fantasy Ball is a game that will have regular tweaks and balance and, and little nudges of health and defense and powers. Yeah. And I would that. absolutely love to do every, it, you know, once a month at least, yeah. to do either a, an update. Uh, yeah, I'll not say any timelines, yeah. but we do want regular updates. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not set to try and put you on a spot or anything, but I would love to do something where at least one of them where we just said what was going on, yeah. um, even once the game's in stores and yeah. things. Because I think uh, a lot of people are assuming once we're uh, done with the Kickstarter element. Yeah. We're done. We don't need to post it. It's just the start. That, that's the, a complete lie. This is the start yeah. of the road. Mm -hmm. um, Eddie hired a couple of questions about multiplayer games. So the first one was, is there any way to play three player or strictly two or four? In the rule book as it stands, two or four are the options. But we have had quite a few requests for three players. Mm -hmm. And I must admit, we've talked about it a lot in we the have. office. And we, yeah. we don't generally feel that this type of game suits a three player environment. Mm -hmm. it, it can be prone to what's kind of commonly known as king making, where um, one player gives another player a big disadvantage and they kind of got beaten up on or, or someone steals the win. And it, doesn't, it normally doesn't feel great, this kind of game as three player, because it is uh, very easy to learn, but kind of a cutthroat arena brawler. Mm -hmm. um, however, we've heard a lot of requests for it, so we are looking at different ways of making it work, or even just having some community fun yeah. stuff. The, the only way that we've seen it suggested that it could possibly in any universe yeah. work is, in any two, universe. is, is two on one. Mm -hmm. uh, because then going into it, you know it's two on one. If it's yeah. a three for all, then 
just by the nature of it, someone's never going to be a case of I tag you, he, you tag Josh, Josh tags me, and we yeah. do this perfect. It's never going to happen. It's going to be I tag you, Josh tags yeah. you, we're developers, we gang up on you to yeah. win. The only way of doing that kind of thing, I've seen that game that done in a few games before, and it's basically where you say the person to your left is your target, the person to your right is Precisely, your enemy, and yeah. you kind of do that. And it's an enforced type of Has you only get that victory way. points from that person. And in a game where you're scoring points from zones and tactics, not just from knockouts, it completely disbalances the board. Yeah. So I Josh is scoring, it's my go next, and I'm not allowed to stop him. That seems wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, but yes, we are listening to it, and I think the idea that one player has. Um, um, maybe three or four champions and kind of some added abilities to play on their own, whereas the other team has two players on it, each sporting two champions apiece, something like this. That a symmetrical kind of play is very interesting, yep. but it might end space up, there. Yeah, it might end up being a community thing, thing, yeah. a community supported thing. What we will say though is we'll never balance the core game of Sir no. Fancy Brawl, which is meant as a 1v1 or 2v2 game really. We'll never balance that for the three player audience and um, because the game really is, is focused on being something that really feels yeah. good and, and even. Certainly in the first year, I don't think we'd even really look at three. Yeah. Because. We don't want to, we don't, we're not, not going to kind of pretend or anything. We want to be yeah. very open and we're, honest. We're honest everybody. about what we do. Um, yeah, yeah, Jonathan, that's an int again, you're, you get rewarded by attacking the player in front, exactly as I, I kind of just mentioned, that yeah. you were typing it as I was kind of maybe talking about that kind of system. And I, again, I just don't think on this type of game that really feels good. And we have had also requests for free for all. Mm -hmm. um, it's an interesting one. Uh, I love the idea of like, I actually had this idea the other day. What if we had like eight people and just everyone had a champion and we played cards like simultaneously or like what, what would just go really mad? Oh, you just, know, just throwing just, them on the table. Yeah, right. Let's just all go and let's just do stuff. And, and that clock really, time, we flip it. Yeah, 30 right. 30 seconds you know, to play cards. Because it's so, because what we've got here with Super Fancy Ball is really kind of a, a very open book of palette. It's very streamlined. There's no dice. The, the actions are very straightforward. It's very simple to get in there. Once you learn your champions, you get a feel for the game. It's really, really good to get your head around. Mm -hmm. So there's a real, it's almost like a, a palette, a canvas in a way that we can yeah. really build upon, but we, we are going to build on that over time. We're not rushing into it during the Kickstarter. Um, there was another question. Oh yes, uh, Eddie Har had another multiplayer question, which was on the four player game, can you see your allies' cards, which are in their hand as Interesting. well? Interesting, that's a really cool question. We've talked about that a lot. We have. Uh, it's funny because, no. uh, shall we just say what our two your opinions are? Yeah, I, for sure. Yeah, because I, I, I argue with the game developers regularly to keep them on their toes. For sure, and uh, I would, wouldn't want any other way. <laughs> we do. We're very, because we listen to feedback from you guys and we feedback and play the As games. As plays honest. games, we're trying to make game for people that play games. So we Which care what I think. I'm thankful it's, for. it's literally that easy. Um, it's not. So yeah, complex. we've had a discussion um, about no. No, you cannot see each other's hands. It's my um, opinion. Yeah, which is, a, well, yeah. So uh, you want to allude to your opinion? Yeah. So. In my, my mind, the way it works is if you can't see each other's hands, then but you can talk about it openly. Mm -hmm. The reason for this, it means that any time I would say, me and Az are on the same team, and I want to say to us, oh look, if I had my hand, if I you, could, I could go, that, yeah, yeah. and this level of cooperation exists. And the important thing is the communication of that. Yeah, so the people across the other side of the table have no idea what's going on, and we have a kind of super combo, six cards. Yeah. Like this. Now, if you can, can't show your cards, but you can talk, then I would have to go, if you, I've got charge. Yeah, yeah. So, Or even if you just go there. Yeah, if you go if there. You, if you push him beside If you there, do this, I can play this. Yeah. That's the most illusion to you yeah. could do. Or you could rate it and just go, oh, I have charge if you want yeah. to get into position. That's the same effect as me doing this. But now they know what's going on. And that's the key. Like that is, that is such a critical thing. And we're, we're so interested about this. Uh, and I actually, I, 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 I was hard, I'll, 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 I'll say this very openly, I was hard on the, I don't see the point on not being able to talk about your hand. Mm -hmm. um, because if I just go, oh, I've got that four movement, one and one strength attack that's going to do this, like, why would I not just say I have charge or whatever? I just, why, why would I not just say that? It's, and it's it was the whole shadow of, of a Camelot thing and this where is you it. can't say, you're not allowed to say the numbers that's from it. one to five. You're going, I've got the strongest knight. I've got a weak knight, and everyone just kind of just went, I've got the weakest of knights, a weak knight, a middling knight, a strong knight, <laughs> the strongest of knights. Yeah. You're just saying one to five. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. <laughs> so the cool thing about this, exactly as, as Stu alludes to, is it's not the information that's being shared here that is actually the interesting rule development yeah. that comes from this decision. It's what's given to the opposite team. And I actually think in a game where we play with an open discard, mm -hmm. where the information is available for you to make the best possible decisions, and while you may not always have a perfect feel of the traps, the reactions, the different things that could happen, you can try and make a best informed choice in some cases. For and sure. I think having that discussion, because you can't see each other's hands, mm -hmm. adds to that 
extra level of cool play, yeah. which I really because like. Because do you sit here knowing you've got, say, Appetite for Destruction is a great example card because you really want to start next to someone. Please put him next to him. If Henry. you want to go, uh, yeah, don't push him because I'm going to Appetite for Destruction, they get a turn in between. No, the difficult so thing you is, move, yeah. right? <laughs> the, the difficult thing is if I go to play a card and you see me playing a card that you really don't want me to play, yeah. at what point am I allowed to go, no? Because no. once it's down, basically yeah. it's down. That's because That's it. I mean, almost from seating, it's almost a case of I would really like the seating to be team A, team A. Oh, sorry, team A, team B, team A, team B. Yeah, so diagonally opposite. Diagonally opposite. Yeah. So you couldn't show hands. So you'd have to talk across the table. So then so you can't even whisper or nudge or wink or set up like secrets. That so means see, appetite. Yeah. This means charge. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah, so this is the thing. Yeah, we, we there's actually a real level of consideration there. And right now we're incredibly focused on making sure the rules get improved, that we listen to your feedback. And over the next few weeks and the next even even months as we continue For to sure. improve the game For even sure. further, we'll kind of test this and, and get more feedback. I'm really happy to see people saying they're on Tabletopia already. It's brilliant. Giving it a whirl. Brilliant. Um, it makes me super happy. 20 minutes before we came here, people from the Discord were messaging me rules queries as they were playing on Tabletopia. Uh, I'm like, I have to go. <laughs> I'm on stream. Concordia Venus is not a game I have played. So that's what I, have I can't say I haven't either. Thank you, Bree. I'll see if we're learning that one. Yeah, so we need to explore it more. Um, mm -hmm. I think I think the not showing hands thing has real potential for fun, though. Um, yeah. And, and the 2v2 is a mode that's really meant for a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It is going to be competitive, but less competitive due to the nature of yeah. a 2v2. Well, look, Stu, we planned on doing a lot of lower. Uh, it's going to really mess up with the YouTube saved video whenever people come to watch this two and a half hour, hour long video and they go, hold on a minute, where's the I lore? spoke about Dundorin and spoke, yeah. the dwarf for a while. Right, we're going to have a quick a quick chat, right? I want people to vote on which champion you want to really hear some lore about before we wrap up. Um, let's let's if, if I see a couple of champion spam, we'll get some real lore in it okay. because um, we haven't really done enough lore this evening. We're going to have to do more lore. We're going to have to write some more. We, we've heard the request and you can let shout to the masses it I, is coming. I, I love this. This is such a warm feeling for me because I'm the guy that's writing it and I'm the guy that's put up with the, the flavor text. Josh is inputting as well. We sit together and I kind of bounce it off of Josh and go, does this sound right? He's like, no, Stu, that doesn't mesh at all. I'm like, damn it. Thagor um, says that he would be on Tabletopia, but the heat wave in France is too much and I don't want to turn on my computer and make my home even hotter. <laughs> Paul says, I like the idea of the open sh the open shirting uh, over the brawl, trying to tell your teammate what you're doing. Ah, so Shouting. Yeah, so like over across the table with each other. Dude, hit him in the face. I've got a way to finish him off. Or equally, <laughs> he's going to get me. Hit, hit him. him. <laughs> I'm going to move to creations. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, so yeah. It's well, kill <laughs> God, He's next to me. I can't wait. <laughs> Push him off. <laughs> be great. I can't wait. But what do you do? Like if your opponent plays their third core, like they play their third core and they've uh, they've missed the fact that there's about to be like a challenge score. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, no, you no. have to do that. What are you doing? It's I like, think once you get to the second core, you sit there and you have to point out, you've been like, move into the zone, yeah, move, into the zone it, right? move into the zone, move into the zone. You have to just say it, which, which I think if you say it, it becomes really fun, right? Yeah. Doesn't it? Um, so yeah, tell us a bit more of the chicken. Tell us more about Kilgore and Wrath. Let us know <laughs> the chicken if you want any more. I'm going to take a second to show off Lorelei for a minute again yeah, because for sure. we showed off earlier that um, <laughs> throw me. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing Kilgore. Kilgore. Like, throw me in. <laughs> Kilgore and Dugrin. Kil so you Kilgore, can toss a door. Kilgore, it's like, ah! Kilgore Wrath. Kilgore Wrath, which is on here. If people want to yeah. link. So uh, Lorelei's cards. As we mentioned during the game, she only actually has uh, six cards, of course, but she has one reaction. I love the strategic thumb. She has four health. Uh, she has, uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't. She's got five, six cards. One is a reaction, of course. Three are skills. And two um, are, I'm getting a Skype call, whoever that was, thank you. And two are attacks. And the attacks have something really nice, which I want to mention for a second. We have, first of all, Nature's Wrath, which we saw before. This was... Grasping vine and stinging thorn, bones are broken and widows mourn, which I just love. And Alan Campbell, who is uh, a lore writer for the beautiful game Lightseekers, really? has just jumped into the chat. And uh, yeah, yeah, show some. He, he's, oh, sure. You and Alan need to get a, a drink together sometime. You guys will share Absolutely. some stories, I bet. And then the other attack is Winding Way. And this one says, Twisting shadows within my grasp, what once was lost is mine. Just which is gorgeous because how the card works this guy so, oh, well, yeah go on ahead then because yeah. what the, the card does 
is it's a, a movement two with a straight line two, and you haven't seen this card. Nope. Because um, I didn't get to play it. Uh, it's a strength two um, attack, but after the attack, you swap the target's location with another enemy champion, which allows me to take a strength attack on someone like Taze and switch in with your Wrath that you've got at the back of the board, or even better, someone's Gwayan who's hiding out in the corner, yep. trying to use that massive range. Switching her close, oh. and then being able to punish Gwayan while she's in the middle of the table and oh. she can't get out, brilliant. Grabbing Derin off of a trap hex, uh, moving a weaker target. If you could target someone who's weak and move them into the scoring zone, yeah. someone who's strong out of the scoring zone, so then you can knock out the guy in the mm -hmm. scoring zone. There's just so many ways to really make that card work. Right. Uh, and it's not her only displacement. She has a charm effect as well. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, we really didn't get to see enough. No, I had, had all three of the cards in the decks here. And right? this one's very interesting for... So, so this one, again, it's moving on with another direct shot too. She has a few direct shots because she's got these really powerful spot actions, so we've got to kind of bring a limitation in. But the way this one works, it places the target adjacent to lower line. This may target allies, so you can move your own guys off of zones. And adjacent means obviously behind, so it's, it's a range of two, but really it's a range of four for how far you can yep. move somebody because you can jump Massive. through your... Massive! It's a huge impact. You just need to be in that kind of mid-range spot to key in the first place. Again, dragging people off of areas, moving them onto trap hexes. Um, really powerful card. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I want to play some more. I, and I love all of her flavor text because uh, she relates to another character on the table. Bree misspoke. She, what she meant to say was, does the swap effect get cancelled if she knocks out the target and takes them out of action? Uh, it would, yes, because they can no longer be on the board effect. We do have it in the rules. If you're on a gate, you can't be affected by card effects. No killing. We, we're Pokemon rules in FFB. Yep. We're, we're only knockout and then the wizard. Knockout. The wizard. Actually, Bit of lore, bit of lore. There time. is a bit of lore. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. talk a little. There is a lore reason. Let's give a lore reason for why it's not killing. Why is it out of action? So, okay, so the reason there's two reasons. And Council the, of Corrections. Council of Corrections yeah. is the main reason. The Council of Corrections. Were you to kill it? We, the way that it works is, uh, as wizards in the Super Bowl, we get the best champions at the best times, the peak of their condition, uh, and for the, some people that would be, you know, six months of their lives. Uh, so when, but. I've got Goldar and you've got Goldar, God, right? I've definitely passed through six and months of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I don't think I'd get mine. I think, I think my wife took those before I got them. <laughs> oh! So, it was definitely the kids, if not her. Um, I love them. love them very much. Uh, Hello, Lula. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> I can't Hello, see Henry. Henry and Milo being awake, according to them. If they are, I'm going to have words when I get home. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, they might have six months where they're like the best physical uh, specimen. Yeah, for sure. But if I want them um, and you want them, we can't both have them at the same time. So I'm going to have them on Tuesday the 13th at 13.45. And you're going to have them on Tuesday the 13th at 13.44, a minute after they've been put back. If they die, it's going to be really hard to put that guy back, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and also, if their story's not played out yet, their peak may be in their 30s. But their story didn't end. Yep. Into the, I mean, Conan's a great example, right? Conan's stories. Mm -hmm. Every film of Conan, he goes into these great fights and they end with him on the... Of every end scene, right? He's on the throne as a yeah, king yeah. and that's a story for another time yeah, they right. always go with. And it never <laughs> happens. You've never heard that story. But he became king, right? Somewhere, somewhere along somewhere the line. But only people don't care about Conan punching a camel, right? Yeah. That's the Conan we all want. Uh, and it's the same for these <laughs> champions. So they want, you know, camel punching Goldar, not King Goldar, or however he ended up in his story. So if they die, that ruins that whole thing. So the Council of Corrections protect these champions to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, and that actually impacts the tabletop as well mm -hmm. in the rules. So when the second before someone would die on the table, so were a kept to quote-unquote kill Goldar, they are snapped back out of the timeline. Their protective wards are placed on them. They're snapped out of the timeline. They reappear on the gate, which is where they were when they were first, their fight started and the ward was placed on them. Because they've appeared back on the gate at that point that they were originally taken, They've lost any experience and knowledge they would have gained in the arena, yep. which is why they level down. Yep. So, so there you go. Just there you go. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Yep. The other half is violence. And what makes me so happy is whenever you have a champion who finally wins the Super Bowl, they get their wish. They keep. They'll keep all their knowledge. They keep all their knowledge. They'll keep all their knowledge of what's happened to them, then they'll get their wish. Yep. And potentially be put back in time into their timeline. Meant that they should get put back in their time. They'll get put back. Wish. They'll get put back with their wish. Unless Gwen was, I mean, for example, to get true magic. True magic, yeah, yeah. Or if Kilgore was to have to fight himself. Or what, like, would Kilgore fight himself in this timeline or his previous timeline? Would he go back and just find a clone of himself? I mean, that like, would be up to the Council of Corrections, right? Just, right? We have to make this wish happen. The making it happen is the easy part. Not destroying the space time continuum equivalent because we don't subscribe to the end game theory of how time travel works <laughs> is 
is very different, right? <laughs> it's been long enough that we can talk about yeah, that. Right, Spoilers right, are not yeah, on that anymore, not, right? Uh, yes, thanks. Bree. Bree said thanks for explaining. She didn't ask us to explain that. I just pointed in the fact that she said kill. Uh, Mark says <laughs> boom. That's the sound of a mic drop. And do you know what? With that, I'm going to say mic drop. We're going to get out of here. It is uh, just gone 20 to 10 now. We'll be with you again this weekend. I can tell you that um, tomorrow, Paris Eludique is kicking off. We have an entire team with lots of demos uh, of uh, Super Fantasy Brawl plus Joan of Arc and, and our other games as well over there. Um, it's worth saying, I think the heat wave is heating, pa hitting Paris. So if you are going, please take some water. Please take some sun protection because it's outdoors. Oh, yeah. Paris Eludique is an outdoor event. It's gonna be so um, it, yeah, it's, it's going to be absolutely. When it's hot in Wall's End. It can only be hotter elsewhere, right? right? Um, yeah, Alan, don't go back and watch this on YouTube afterwards because the game wasn't that interesting. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> um, so, uh, Vindication! <laughs> if you are with us on the campaign over the weekend, plus on Facebook, we will have more exam uh, Council of Corrections entrance examinations for you. Some of them are going to get a little more challenging. Um, plus, we're going to have some updates coming as well alongside the teaser, which I will share again, just in case anyone has joined since I last shared the teaser. Here it is. Trying to do this one handed. There we go. A little teaser of something else you're going to see coming in the, in the next couple of days. For sure. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a lovely two and a half hours. Oh, I love uh, this. I really want to play more Sir Bunsy Brawl. I'm not yep. going to lie. Uh, there's going to be plenty more to come. Should we get my stream with off? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah we've got to get in in 20 minutes because then I'm on Kickstarter comments. Oh, geez, you are, aren't you? Yeah, I've got to go and got to go and do my duty uh, and answer so your questions. Midnight Game of Super Fantasy Brawl. Midnight yeah? Game of Super Fantasy Brawl, I think, is on the cards. Super Fantasy Brawl after dark. It's the expansion that no one wanted. <laughs> I think it's the expansion that everyone <laughs> wanted. Mythic Games after dark will be the episodic content we really. Right after use. everyone loves the cats. Yeah, so, yeah, right. You know what? You sign yourself up for like three or four streams a week at this point, right? Everyone loves a cat. Yes, we, we have to do three shows so we can have those little overlays that come up on the bottom right hand corner of the TV. You know, so it's like coming towards the end. Coming of the show towards the end. Coming towards the next is going to be. Da, 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 everyone loves. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time. Look, Larry, it's absolutely our pleasure. No rest for the wicked. Great stream, guys. The teams were perfect. The teams were not perfect. They were The great. teams were not perfect. And listen, you know I'll what? play those guys again. I shouldn't complain, right? Because the fact is, that the, the fact you can mix them all together makes it so good. I want to try that team again because yeah. I've learned so much about uh -huh. Tears now. I really misplayed Mario's and I really realized that I could have done more with him. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's, this is the thing. Like, we could just sit here and chat all night. But I, if Honestly, if you weren't on comments <sighs> and I didn't, I want comments in the morning. You're in comments in the morning. You're Stu's, in Stu's on comments in the morning. Um, my train left home, so I'm crashing. Uh, yeah. With the very nice. This, yeah, a little bit, so that's why we're going to stay up and play more. A little bit of insight, right? That you know, Stu is now can't make it home, so he's crashing at my sofa tonight. <laughs> so if any of you live near Walls End, want a game of Super uh, Fancy Brawl? Um, As can't sleep because house. he's on comments. <laughs> so you know, I. So this is, the, this is the thing, right? Because you know we're really serious about making games, but we, we love a bit of fun. We love it. Yeah, Great love match it. and chat. Cheers, James. Cheers, guys. Until next time. Uh, so yes, tomorrow. That's what I was going to say. The tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Um, Leo will be live. Kudo. Um, and then on Sunday night, um, where we'll be live again. Yep. Um, and we're going right through until we finish on Wednesday. Um, yeah. So it might well, be a case of. We'll see how the plan. Sunday might be as versus the internet. Yeah, Sunday might be as versus the internet. <laughs> because I think uh, I'll be at home moderating. Uh, yeah, interwebs. you'll be on the side of the internet. Yeah, I'll be on the side uh, of the and internet. And I'll be keeping everything own. straight. I will pick my own team for that game. Uh, not letting the internet. Can we pick ours? Or do we? Yeah. Oh, I have to go by the internet vote, won't I? Everything shall we? Um, shall sure. we put up a poll maybe on Sir Fancy Brawl and say Sunday night as versus the internet, and we'll let the you and the internet can. Work I think that sounds team. like a plan. It's a great idea. Yeah. Should we do it fine? We do it competitive style? No. Oh, Bree's getting excited. Bree's like, uh, I need to, yeah, I need to, I need to do some studio rigging and see what making that happen. But I think mm -hmm. it's, I think it's a good, I think it's, it's a, good be, a good time. So potential, and then at, uh, Leo's tomorrow, is he? Leo's tomorrow night. Cool. I've sent Leo some cool things. I would say. Oh, dang! Tomorrow. Yes, Leo, live tomorrow night. We'll have some stuff that if, we have not shown if yet. If you like the law, ironically, because we didn't get to talk as much as we liked. Uh, if you really like the cards, and for a lot of people that have gone, well, these cards are really cool, but they look very samey. Yeah, right. You should tune in with Leo tomorrow. Dang, man. I, Leo gets all the best stuff. He does get the best stuff. Dang it. But I get stew, so it balances out. It really right, balances. folks? It's not even close. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> I'm not going to make you do music tonight unless you want to, Sue. Working nine to five. <laughs> what a way I wish to I make a living. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody.